I'm too busy uh, rocking out to YouTube. How's it going? How's it going? How's everybody doing out there? Whoop. You figured one day I will learn how to turn that off. <laughs> today. Hi. Hey, my camera's actually working today. I'm like, yep, it is. <laughs> awesome. I was uh, raised by boomers, so it shows often. Yeah, the originals, not what these kids claim to be. I don't even think they know. Like the most, of the boomers have aged out. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Trusty Abe, glad to see you, Kilroy. Oh, How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. You gotta make sure. Yes, get your glasses now before we get too far in. So I actually came prepared today. Right. Do you know what they age? They just age me. Hold on, take oh. my eyes a second to adjust. I look too. I look like I'm in my family. I look like my brother. <laughs> it's all vanity here at the Godless Sewing Channel. So last night I got inspired after the stream and I made, um, I'm going to make hammer pants out of something else, but I made these out of, uh, I made a couch cushion <laughs> Yes. I, because, because I'm going to wear that all the time. Like I wear hoodies everywhere, you know, so I'm going to wear that all the time. So I was like, do I wear my hammer pants that I've made? Yeah. Right. Are we making a costume or are we making an everyday yeah. something that we like want to incorporate into the regular rotation? And those questions aren't always the same. Well, thank you. Kilroy already gets oh. the uh, <laughs> comment of the evening. The right? <laughs> Just slather on the compliments now, please. I have my spans on because the weather doesn't know what it wants to do. I've got my apricot shorts from Mood Pattern on without the flounces, but lace instead and a T hey commander, <laughs> hey commander. Hello. I have to rest because I have to dispatch to Ohio at 1 a.m. And then and when I get back to New York, I have to finish the video. I totally understand that. Was in Palcino. Palcino in Devil's Ad. Oh, Pacino. Oh, oh my Pacino. gosh. I'm reading listening to you and now. Was Pacino and Devil's Advocate who said vanity was always my favorite? <laughs> Oh, I've had too much coffee already. <laughs> I love that movie. And there's another movie with Pacino and De Niro. They're like older men. And one plays a cop. The other one plays a psycho. It's such a good movie. Yeah. And what are they like showing each other up? Like, I can have a new baby when I'm the oldest. No, I can be the new <sighs> ba baby daddy with the oldest. Okay. I forgot <laughs> about that. I know it's early and I'm not here to hurt people's feelings, but like. My pops was 42 years old, 43 when I was born, okay? So when I was 10, he was 53. And you can do the math. He didn't Yeah, I know, because he's your our age. It's like you having a new baby. I couldn't do it because I'm from a different planet. My dad was so, like, I, I asked him one day and he giggled. I said, why'd you have so many kids? And he laughed and he laughed. He's like, I could, I guess, you know. <laughs> 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 But I was raised by my mother, my brothers, and my sister, if you know what I'm saying, you know? Right. So yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing to have kids at an older age. I, I'm just putting it out there. I, and it does take a village to raise people. I get that, you know? But, like, um, <laughs> I don't know. The Greatest Generation... Uh, people were hardcore. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Do you feel like I constantly um, harp on that? But I feel like as a society, we've kind of um, we've all become kind of soft. But before I go off, oh, right, right. Not you. wow, you were like pressing all the buttons early. I'm like already fired up with all my words. Oh, go so ahead. No, go ahead. no, go ahead. No, we got to get through all the official business. I, I'll, I'll save up my thoughts and words. <laughs> we'll save them for later. 
Let me get this out of the way here at the Godless Sewing Channel. This program is entertain is intended. This program is for entertainment purposes only. And the content is not intended to malign any religion, race, company, individual, or wigs. All opinions expressed by Godless Sewing and program participants are solely their personal views and do not reflect the opinions of every human being on planet Earth. And if you do not like that, we have exits on both sides. And if you speak Spanish, that's amasquerda and derecha. Back to you, Phoenix. Thank you for flying, Godless Sewing Airlines. Hey, nerdy. How's it hey. going? <laughs> Yeah, it's time. I yeah, it's time to do the disclaimer before I go off. <laughs> yeah, right. You got words. I got thoughts. <laughs> I um, you're. What is it? Is it Fluter? Fluter Hosen? Fluter? 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 No, Fluter with a P. Fluter Hosen. We all know I can can't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> he is <one> <laughs> the last of the hardcore. <laughs> Um, because I know we're gonna go off about the about the sub, and I, I want to say this because I think it's ghoulish when people are like making fun of people who have passed away. Like, let's remember that. Um, I know we want to eat the rich and the world's unfair and all of these things, but they they got to do these things because of the position they were in. We all exercise what ever privilege we have i have certain privileges in my life that i um, go out of my way to exercise <laughs> <laughs> right, right we should start with the simple ones like we have the right to a first amendment and to be, <laughs> say whatever ridiculous stuff about sewing because uh, but like i'm not here to trash um a long time ago someone told me like if you ever want to be um rich don't trash rich people <laughs> it helps if you would if you might be potentially in circles together it behooves you for them to think you're a, not a complete farce hole I uh, I got this disclaimer in Kilroy from someone that like I absolutely respect. They're from the younger generation, and I always say like, well, they're a couple years younger than me. And I, I'm always like, oh, there is no hope. But this person gives me a little bit of hope. <laughs> if you go to the post on my channel, you'll see a picture of the power armor. Oh, awesome, awesome. You'll see a picture of the power armor. I'm talking about that's the clean version. I've decided to use the dusty version. I go back and forth of different versions as well. Hey, Water Nye, how's it going? How's it going? I had to take a, a sip of my saucer of coffee. I had to give my my giant cup the night off. <laughs> You're like, I can't stop to pee that many times during a show. <laughs> well, that one's like 44 ounces. This is more like, like 25, 30. <laughs> Eventually I am going to pull Let's see if I can see my couch cushion from here I do like the lazy angle Of um, Of this oh, Wrong camera, wrong camera here we go. <laughs> There we go I made a couch cushion I love weird patterns like this it, it, I'm I, It's good And I'm wearing my spans Because uh, I'm starting a new craze I know if you want the lazy humans version, just do the tie wrap pants. The only problem with those is when, if you have to use the facilities, like your pants are like, it's like a jumpsuit. So that's like the one. Maybe hey. You like put, okay. hey, hey. I actually have a question for Mark. Mark, do you, do you know anything about washing machines? I have a real life help me question <laughs> my washing machine is starting to do a click and i think it's the ball bearings and i think i'm gonna have to replace it and sometimes because it's i bought high end so i don't sometimes it's it's cheaper to have someone who knows what they're doing come out and fix it Do you know anything about washing machines, Phoenix? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I lived in houses with washing machines twice in my time on this in this world, and now is not one of those times. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I find those tie. Oh, whoops! I'm like reading it without clicking on it. It's all right. How's it going, Water yes. Nay? I just wanted. I um. I like said your name wrong, so I want to say it correctly. Water Nay. Pleats in a Water Nay. Pleats in a button. Yeah, I get pleats for fitting and. I know. I keep thinking about those. That somebody was talking about the word. Oh, did I? Uh, it's not a disaster under my sewing machine. But um, to put you, if you could hide snaps or buttons in the um front gusset area, so you could like split it open. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Commander, are you on Twitter? Well, let's see here, Kilroy. If it's the bearings, you can replace them. It's easy if you've done a, if you've done it a couple times and know how to get to them. But if you've never done it, it's awful. All right. Oh, so that's awesome. I need to follow like you back. Something. Oh, we do follow each other. You are on Twitter. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a long time ago, I had somebody um, <laughs> and nerdy. Does it wear pants? Do you know what's so funny? I was raised such hardcore, repressed Roman Catholic that I feel weird not wearing shoes. Wow, I'm sitting here sewing barefoot right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> For the longest time, I would live stream and put my shoes on. Like, even right now, I have my shoes. I'm like, no one's looking at my shoes. And I'm wearing socks. We all wear socks. Like, get over it. <laughs> I... You know, Kilroy, I do love me a good skirt, but half my job, I need to, I keep saying this, I need to pre-record some stuff because sometimes, Guess frequently, it. I end up demonstrating things on the floor and I can't have wardrobe malfunctions, so I gravitate towards pants, even though I do like me a skirt. Sign up with automacwasher.org they can <laughs> i uh, i know a guy but like last time he kind of shamed me but it's clicking every time because he walked in my garage and he looked at me and he's like bro you literally um have a garage full of tools and i was like look you're a guy just do your and i i kind of like loosely know the guy he's a he's a monster truck kind of guy if you know what i'm saying okay he's 5'4 dr drives monster trucks I, oh, oh, we are sad about not being vertically <laughs> gifted. <laughs> it happens uh, sometimes, kid. I've never bought a washing machine until I was about 30 because I just fixed an old ones, but they went computerized. And that that's the problem. Like, um, I have a Maytag, and it's a brand new – oh, man. Isaiah was still kind of a little guy because um, when, when, we first, when I first purchased this – um, it had been a long time since basically I have a washer and dryer, like a laundromat. You can look into my washer and dryer. So I have a picture of me and Isaiah sitting there, literally just watching the, the clothes getting the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it was so uh, interesting to both of us. So you have a front, uh, front loading and not a top loading washer. Oh, I have a top loading washer, but my dryer is, um, is front loading. Got a window. Yeah. My top loader has a washer. It has a window. Oh wow! Flip flops and tube socks. That's the third name of my punk. My third punk album. <laughs> I thought that they just it, it, where I live. They just called that. I thought they just called that Pacific Northwest guy shorts and like or sandals and socks guy. <laughs> Do you know another reason why I'm going to go downtown is because I want those socks that have the toes in them. Toe socks. Yes, and they sell them in downtown LA. I need them badly. I've oh. never tried. I, I, for all the years they've been around, I've never worn a pair. You know what's so funny? I compulsively vacuum in here, Waterne. I'm, I'm, I am really. Um, I know I look like a pirate, but I'm so weird about hygiene. Like this room smells like cocoa butter, um, shame, and daddy issues. Like I am, I am really weird about um, hygiene. No, and I completely get you, Waterne. I, sh I, best practice is, yes, I do try to be very impeccable with my pins, though, because this is a very communal space with cats <laughs> and i don't want them getting stuff i forgot about mastodon is that the one where you have to pick a server i think because back when i used to um stream with sofa um they signed up for that but like it, it uh, 
to a Western American, to someone from the West Coast, it gets confusing. They're like, pick a server. I was like, oh my gosh, you're asking too many questions of me. What are oh, you doing? Oh no, it's like you need to know who you want to follow over there and say, I want to go to this person server. So it's like sounds like Discord. You just need to tell them like I am looking for this person and they'll find you. Oh. I've, had this, I've had this for like um, almost eight or nine years though, and it's just now. And I compulsively wash my clothes. I'm always washing fabric. I I I have, as people know, a compulsive thrifting habit. So I'm like, no scabies in this house. I wash everything. <laughs> no bed bugs or scabies in my house. That's why I want water day. That's why I want those um, the toe socks. They're made for wearing with sandals. Yeah, I they, to, so, no, so, oh, the tabby socks. Yep, yeah, they have. So those are ones that they're not all of your toes splayed. There's just a slit in between your big toe and your other four little toes so that you can fit them in the Japanese little sock or fancy house shoes, whatever. If anyone wants to hop in, let me know if you're still there, Abe. I, 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 with, 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 with I, oh, no, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like a long time ago, Isaiah traumatized me and he found a rusty old, um, uh, like, you know, because I, I, I buy rusty old machines and a needle dropped into my shag carpet and Isaiah stepped through it and it went half through his foot. So I had to take him to the hospital and everything. And so yeah. ever since then. <laughs> no, I no, I completely know. Because in my grandma's sewing room, there was like a rule. Like the one rule was you don't go in there barefoot because there might be pins on the floor. Oh, yeah. So I've been trained my my whole life to look for the odd pin on the floor. Yeah, running a machine shop here. <gasps> oh. What? See, we're talking about a random pin. This human is like, hold my beer. <laughs> and I'll raise you 20. <laughs> um um I like it you know it's just traumatizing when you're uh when your kid does it. And he did it while like I was in the back room streaming. And so <laughs> like I, there was witnesses that were like, oh, if sewing doesn't do something, he's a terrible parent. Right. Nothing like getting shamed for parenting on the internet. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I put the link in the chat. I'm about to drop a reference nobody will understand, but Mastodon's kind of like Uninet. Usenet. Usenet. They're separate servers, but the servers talk to each other and they kind of most do the same stuff. Okay. I was um, just instantly intimidated. I'll be honest. I was just instantly intimidated by it. Mine's a time thing. <laughs> Old machines have worse little rusty pins and needles and they get, yes. And because I'm like, I'm such an antiquer, I will bring something in this room and like put gloves on. I'll completely cover myself, but I don't cover anything else and I'll tear it apart. I will completely tear it apart. All right, I have to, I have to test something. I added an extra light in here. I want to see if it works. Oh, yeah. My head. Oh, is yeah, we got the shine on. <laughs> Cue ball, welcome to the party. <laughs> No, because I keep on I keep on asking myself, like, why did I not put a light in that light? And I kind of know why now, because that only it only takes a super high wattage. And at first it's giving me a tan. How's it going? Hey, hey. I just had to make sure it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really the yeah, I had to switch to from uh, one one thing to the other. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Oh, all right. All dot images dot master dot. <laughs> I I'm on all. I don't know. Like I'm on Odyssey in my real name, so don't go looking for me. <laughs> well, chaos can find me because chaos knows my real name. But like, well, that's I don't not know. really a challenge. Then. <laughs> like, um, I like Odyssey, but it, basically, it's everyone who first got kicked off of Twitter. I, I'm sorry, who first got kicked off of Facebook, but now they have Rumble. I know Rumble's a when Rumble's great, Rumble's really great, and that kind of it, this like weird exit or mass ban, um, demonetizing or blocking creators right now. It's 
YouTube hates me. They're a fickle mistress. I'm like, <laughs> I made a whole nickel on Rumble already, and I only have 37 followers. <laughs> Every video I'll have. Like, lately, it'll say, like, oh, you have 700 views in the thing, in the YouTube studios, and I'll look, and I'll say, you only have 120 views, or YouTube hates me. <laughs> something Every something has happened. Well, there's, like, oh, uh, the, the actual views and the partial views, right? Like, you get, like, the total number of clicks, and then... And then the there's, like, a... a I have a really weird conspiracy theory and you can judge me on it. Whenever that guy, the day from that guy took over, um, something happened where like, I don't know, maybe my channel got flagged. I don't know. Every commercial that I've already had, they'll give me a copyright strike for. Like they went through a back, a bunch of my videos and were like, we're partially blocking these. So people in the UK can't even get my jokes. And I literally made a whole video about Peckham. I made a whole video about Peckham and people in Peckham can't watch it. Oh. <laughs> so it's frustrating. Really? Because you were trying to Peckham real good? <laughs> well, I I, um, I was watching, I obsessively watch a show. Um, it's called Desmond's. It's about uh, people, it's about the Windrush generation. It's a funny show, but it's about the Windrush generation. Mm -hmm. It's a 90s show. It's, it's just a time capsule for me. And there's a character named Pork Pie who I um, pretend to dress like with the pork pie hats and the. It's your cosplay, you cosplay Pork Pie. Oh, you were there for the phase. You were there for the whole phase. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I was like, "Where is this coming from?" I don't, I don't get. It. Which is fine. I mean, to each their costume of their choices. <laughs> I absolutely, I love John Ram Lee Holder. If you're bored, look him up. <gasps> Oh, my friend had a jigsaw blade go completely through their foot. Oh, her now ex-husband would take her to the doctor and didn't. Uh, that's why I'm constantly cleaning in here. I'm thinking about getting into peer tube. It's like YouTube, but a central server, so it's technologically impossible. Sensors. <gasps> Interesting. I mean, like, I mean Rumble friend. has that advantage, too. Well, you, I don't need to sell you on Rumble because they own their own servers and API, so they're not beholden to the higher level tech company. I'm still um, addicted to slap fighting. <laughs> so I haven't had anything get flagged for like content other than like I, get, I usually get flagged for music content. That's the only thing I ever get copyrighted. Like, yeah, you will not do. Like, they will not do that to you on Rumble. Come to the dark side, join Rumble. <laughs> That's where they got me, Chaos, because it was all like they gave me a, a copyright strike because I'm stuck in the past and I constantly am I'm playing Faith No More. And if you show a video, it's like the end of the world, which I'll never understand. And like because I'm obsessed with 90s hip hop, if anything with DJ Premier, they're going to um, give you a copyright strike. There were certain commercials I got a copyright strike. On my backup channel, I post stuff just to see if it's going to give me a copyright strike or not. Well, that's good to be to test some of those things. Good idea. I've been doing that lately because I don't understand it at all anymore. I don't. I like it's so confusing. I don't think you understand. Because people keep on subscribing, so I'm I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> and it, it largely depends on like what music you play. Like, because I've had certain artists, I can play a whole song and nobody says shit, but I can play ten seconds of another song. And boom, strike. Exactly, exactly. And where? And I want to know, like, there has to be a central list. Somebody has to be like, "Hey, I'm an a hole. I own all of this." Like, you know, like, give me, give me a list. Well, but part of it, I know, it's money and the unequal rep or er, fair use and all sorts of. Oh, you know, it gets complicated, and then people are bitches. Oh, is it too early to say yes? To Sorry, I will tone it down and. I always think of jazz saxophonist Lester Young when I see pork bike hats. He was famous for wearing them. I always think of like flat foot like um, cops or detectives like in the UK. A pork pie was a working man's hat. 
YouTube is so strange with what they can censor and what they don't. Someone said that all black people should die, but somehow that was not that was not that was not a comment YouTube thought was problematic. Uh, I've seen some that that I question that too because I've seen some awful things on YouTube, and I'm like, you guys get on me for a uh, Midas commercial. <clears throat> it's weird. From before I was born. That's also why, like, having good channel moderation and side chats is so important because if you get just one troll in there, uh, I mean, it can, it can, you know, bring down your whole battleship. But it's like YouTube won't do anything about that. You have to have moderation on your own. Honestly, um, you taught me that. And um, I watched uh, Esther get porn bombed one night, too. Hey, Dick, how's it going? How's it going? After your channel got taken down, was that that was a couple months or like a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been a little over a year now. Yeah, that taught me a lesson because I like used to just like let anybody in, and then when Esther got trolled by that guy, and I watched him subscribe to my channel on a video and troll me, and he like taped himself trolling me, and I'm like, YouTube is so strange. YouTube is a strange place. Yeah. Uh, so I've noticed now when you let people in through StreamYard, it will let you know if the person is, has a verified Google account. But that, even that, you know, doesn't necessarily mean anything unless you've, you've had prior engagements with the person. So my sock account has a verified Google account, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This is uh, the warm up, the Monday night warm up. <laughs> um, chaos. Okay, so do either one of you guys go to Popeye's Chicken? The bands are like free promotion. The, the publishers are all about money and licensing fees. They see that someone using it for free. I agree. You know what? I'm I'm a um, dirty capitalist, so I understand when they copyright strike me. Because, you know what? I've recently seen people do a bunch of hate videos about me. And I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. Like, you can have my images for free. I don't care. Like, go ahead. If this makes you feel better, go right ahead. So I can honestly say I've never in my life been to a Popeye's chicken. Every time I go to one of them down here in the Bay Area, like, the line is, like, a mile long through the drive through And I'm like, fuck this. Uh, and I get out of there. But, no. I, so I've never had Popeye's. Me neither. It's been a while since I've gone. Um, my my pops is from the south. He was obsessed with um, fried anything, so I used to go with him all the time. I haven't gone in three years, like since since he's passed away. My son is with my ex wife right now. They're they're having a good time. They're hanging out. So I'm like, I'm gonna go eat by myself. And when I buy something, I'll buy a bunch of food because I live like a bachelor. Like it's just my son and I. I'll like after this stream, I'm gonna go annihilate my box of chicken. What's left of it? <laughs> Long story short, an eight piece. <laughs> Are we gonna complain? It, no, this is on you. If it, we're gonna kvetch about how expensive this. No, is. I just didn't like, know. It's twenty. It was like twenty-seven dollars. You could have made fried chicken for less. I got coleslaw. And it came out to um, the total was thirty one dollars. Should have gone to KFC. No. <laughs> you know what's really funny? There's a KFC. There's a KFC that's by the um, dispensary I go to, but it's literally like in not near my house. So sometimes I get lazy and I'm like, "What's by my house?" And there's a Popeyes, and I'm like. Oh, yikes. I have had Popeye's since the 1980s. In the 80s, I used to eat Pioneer. Does anyone remember Pioneer? That's super West Coast. Here on Godless, Godless Airlines, we shouldn't be getting up to a cruising altitude. It's approximately 30 minutes. Please continue to wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Obey the please smoke sign and everybody and enjoy the rest of your flight. Thank you, Kilroy. Thank you. You should be getting paid. I have... Legit never, ever seen a Popeye's. I have this sickness where I will eat deli fried chicken. I will eat gas station fried chicken. I will. I love fried chicken. 
I, I'm just funny that way. Well, there's nothing. The fried chicken is not the problem. It's the spending that much of the money on so little food is the my is my gripe. I can't speak for anyone else on this news here to quetch. Hey, Sydney, how's it going? How's it going? So you just there's Popeyes in Canada. Awesome, we're conquering the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Hey, Sydney, how's it going? <laughs> no, though, I was just, and the reason I say this is because about six months ago, I saw this thing on Twitter that said Popeyes in California has lost its brains because across the, like all across America, Popeyes is still like seven, eight bucks. <laughs> and in, ah, but I'm used to paying Disneyland prices because I live here. Yeah, but that still doesn't make it right. Yeah, like at any fast food chain you go to in California, there's nothing on the dollar menu that is actually a dollar. Like, you, you, nothing. Nothing. No, and when you add the whatever ridiculous amount, 30% tax on it, you're like, I'm looking at at least a dollar thirty plus, like, the big cup tax. Oh, you've got a paper bag. Oh, this, whatever. Bye, Mom. Mom. Bye, Mom. Have fun with your godless group. That's when we start making money. We'll be the godless group. Right. I'll, I'll wear a tie with my vest. Go <laughs> tie your straight tie or a cravat. Or... Godless.sewing.org Hey, Commander. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, great. That's just, that's just the helmet audio. That's what I wanted. See, I need to quit cheaping around on the internet. I need to get something like that. I wanted a voice changer like that because I watched Scream too many times as a kid. Yeah, it's kind of... I can make myself sound like absolutely anything. And right now, there's a penguin. You, you remove the helmet and there's a penguin underneath that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. We're yeah, always that was fun. an Apache. That was an Apache flying by. Do you know what's really funny? Um, I flew Southwest before September 11th, and it actually was peaceful and affordable. And I got on a plane September 10th with no ID. <laughs> and then you couldn't get home. <laughs> well, I I I, I um, couldn't get back because I went home. <laughs> with no ID. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. You okay? Yep. You were stuck wherever you were. <laughs> good times. Good times. I like telling that story because I was probably literally like, like, like the last American ever trusted. <laughs> they were like, "We're gonna trust you that you say you are who you are." I'll never forget that. That never happened again. <laughs> hey, Alibaba, you snuck in. Yes. <laughs> And just for you, I do have my rasp for filing boning down. I'm I'm being a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you are, Commander. I had to make. It, I was just making sure it was you. <laughs> we were literally just talking about, um, like how people have had their their channels taken down by people taking um, coming in under un other people's names. Yeah, it's me. I that's a, that other voice is the voice that I was using for this particular character. That's awesome. I I bought this thing. Uh, <laughs> thinking that it would have a decent voice changer on it, but it didn't and it's really complicated and it needed my microphones and all kinds of things. And I just hooked up my microphone but, like, it just makes me sound like a lounge singer. And I really can't sing. So if you tell me that I can sing, like, you're tone deaf. And, Dick, you asked me, yeah. you've seen yeah. this robot before, right? And how many people do you know who could actually produce that? They do those voices with scary villains in the movies. <sighs> Does this thing work? Oh, yeah, it works. See, I'm going to turn that off because I'm already annoyed with myself. When I was a kid a long time ago, I was probably 16 or 17. My cousin and I, we thought we were so tough. 
And my brother um, called the house with one of those scream prank call, that, you know, the scream um, voice changer. And he was like, you punks, I can see both of you. You think you're tough? And my cousin, like, he's like out the front door. He's like, show yourself. <laughs> we thought we were so tough. And my, he, the worst thing he ever did was give us the voice changer. We wreaked havoc with that thing. <laughs> I like the Grey Castle. <laughs> castle Grayskull. We're going to need to buy a huge soundboard like Howard Stern. I was thinking about like hanging my keyboard and my soundboard and all this stuff right here like Howard Stern does. <laughs> you know, there's this one guy, Sean Hawkins, right? D don't go to his channel because he abuses people. But he once paid $800 for a piece of hardware that DaVinci Resolve basically um, gives out for free in the software to call himself King of Buttons. Oh, yikes. I like DaVinci. I'm glad somebody else is still using that one and I'm cheap. Yes, Dick, I have a... Um, <laughs> I, I am Godzilla on Amazon. I order. I am addicted to cheap stuff at three o'clock in the morning and making bad decisions. Because really, I wanted to sound like Roger Troutman, but I um, just need to buy a tox box. And the funny thing is, I'm always like, "Oh, I'm not going to spend 190 on this," and then I end up spending that money in a different direction, like on fabric and food and going out in one day. You know, so I'm crazy. Buttons are cool. <laughs> I really think that my son sabotaged this because it didn't work for a while. And then when I plugged it back in, you too? well, when I plugged it back in, he's like, "Oh, you figured it out." <laughs> Am I wrong to think that he sabotaged me or was what? Like his version of the parent taking the toys out or the batteries out of their kids' toys that make too much noise. <laughs> he just punk you. He knows that I'm not necessarily the most technologically advanced and I'm easily contained. If you unplug one thing, it'll take me 45 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> All right. Sounds about right. <laughs> he's of that age where he's starting to figure out that like, oh, my pops doesn't know about this or this. Believe it or not. As far as computer stuff goes, my expertise is visual arts. Programming, not really. Yes, Dick, it is the cheap-ass box. I ordered it with a bunch of patches one night. <laughs> they offered me these crazy bundles because I'm, I'm an Amazon junkie. That's why China will never uh, lob one missile at us, ever. Because of people like me. I will save the planet. Single-handedly with me and my credit card. <laughs> They've got other ways. They don't need to. <laughs> it's it's a compulsive habit. Does anyone else here have a um, Amazon habit? I can't be the only one. No, no. See, I, I mm. stopped using Amazon and I canceled my Audible account. But I still have all the books I bought, you know? So I'm like, okay, that was a pretty good buy. And so I've considered at least getting that back. But I'm like, I will not order shit online. Like, I've done it a few times, and it's, I, I just stopped. I had to stop. But, yeah. Commander, do you uh, Amazon at all? I used to order stuff online all the time before the pandemic. Then after the pandemic... The money kind of tightened up, and I got out of the habit, and I learned how to save a lot of money. But then I moved to New York, and someone's been demanding 1500 fucking dollars every fucking month for some goddamn reason. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Sydney, if you catch me near Christmas at like 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm watching those weird videos about people... In other countries, I can't do anything about. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Prime Day is coming. I have Amazon Prime. They gave it to me because I'm stubborn and I just like, I do the same thing over and over. And one day they were like, since you're not doing anything about it, we're just going to give it to you because you like to spend money. 
And you know what? The camera I bought sounded like a tin can here because this is a real life quality studio mic. And so when I plugged in the other one, you instantly saw how crummy it was. But it sounds good on my Canon camera. I finally broke down and got a mic stand. I been mean, had it for about three weeks. Before that, I was physically holding it. Oh, that's awful. That's, um, I get weird arm from doing that. Like, cause I'm extremely left-handed. I get like, like, I don't know. It's, I feel strange too, being stuck in that position. Welcome to tonight's show. Yeah, that's so true. I think my microphone was stolen from a Target like six years ago. But at that time, I didn't even have a Chromebook yet. So I couldn't even use it. But somebody gave it to me. And they were like, here, I got this for you. And I was like, okay. And I knew they stole it, but like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> All right, outside the statute of limitations now, you can feel free to talk about shit. <laughs> I do oh, have a good. stream yeah. deck, yeah. Dick. I just haven't set it all up yet. I've had it for about two weeks, three weeks. If you know Godless likes picking up cheap junk stuff that works is no fun. It's you know, it's because I'm a um I'm a fixer at heart and I don't fix people, I fix stuff. Only fix people. You can only sometimes with the grace of all of whatever fix stuff. <laughs> I know. I love swap meets. I love the swap shop when I lived in South Florida. Just go and buy a bunch of junk computers and then make a good computer out of three or four junk pieces of shit. Be just on the mention of it, I had to stop myself from starting a typewriter collection because I already have two. Then I've been seeing them at swap meets and I'm like, I have to stop. I don't need another hobby. Sure, to quiet. Fight. Stop, uh, stop, put your fingers down. Stop. Yeah. Typing, <laughs> I see you over there. Just another thing to fight with people on the internet for. <laughs> I have telescopes too. I am crazy. I have all kinds of telescopes, but my neighbor has the one that's um, seven feet tall that you can look at the sun with. Whoa. And we did when uh, Venus did its transit or whatever. I actually saw it in, in the front of my house. It was actually really cool. I need to, um, I think that's what it is. You know what the thing is? Like I inherited a studio, so I probably have sound boards. I just don't know what they are. You don't know what you're, you're, you know, you've got stuff, but you wouldn't see it, know it if it stared you in the face. Because, like, all the stuff that I have hooked up right now Thanks, is, guitar, Dick. is guitar center stuff. Because I know how to hook up a guitar. <laughs> it these... took over 24 hours to rig this model because all the hoses and all the stuff I have to have drivers so that all the hoses move and it doesn't clip through everything. I inherited a ton of stuff, Dick, like a ton. My amps are fun, though, because whenever I get ticked off at a neighbor, I'll put um, either Punkin' Drublick by NoFX or Slayer God Hates Us All. I have four GBLs in this room, and it literally makes the whole neighborhood shake when I hook everything up. <laughs> but that's only when somebody was playing mariachi music for two days. Hey, don't be hate on somebody's quinceanera. It was like a toy. Like after, after thirty eight hours, it was torture. <laughs> and I used to live in MacArthur Park in the middle, in the heart of Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, I have some typewriters. See, Waterney, it's an addiction. And you know the funny thing is, Kilroy talks about how they have a typewriter collection and i'm like i don't need another hobby to fight people <laughs> on the internet for i have um like even let me i'm gonna make myself big for a second this screen in the back is being ran by a panasonic um full shoulder cam from like 
I want to say 2014, 2015. It's obsolete by today's standards, but I refuse to let it go. <laughs> I have a ton of stuff. I wanted to be a stringer so bad because I don't sleep. When you're going to have a tech person come out, you know, it's funny. Um, my mother threatens that. She grabbed me once while she grabbed me and she's like, do you know what, how much stuff you're sitting on? <laughs> <laughs> all I get reminded all the time. Mastodon just completely sold to me. A bot just followed me that pretends to be a glow in the dark CIA oh, agent. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> they're, they're not even hiding it. That we're like, <laughs> we know we glow. I, do you know what's funny? I don't hate on the mariachi music. I'm actually into. I'm actually really into mariachi mariachi music. I listen to El Coyote. He's from northern Mexico. He's part of my people. I actually love mariachi music, and you just can't listen to him in certain neighborhoods. <laughs> Retro tech. I love my old school tech. Studio equipment changes fast over time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the sad thing is I get these old school cords more than, more than the new. My computer's whiz bang, and sometimes it tells me, like, you're not using me properly. <laughs> Stop pretending I'm only running 32p. <laughs> well, also, like, my ca my camera was like, you need to put all your videos in 4K because this is a 4K camera. And it told me on my computer. <laughs> it was like suggestion. I'm like, where, where did you come from? <laughs> okay, Oz, come back if you if you drop down. I know I'm a, ch I'm a chatter. It used to be that electronic engineers had to do an alignment on recording equipment every day, too. And they, they just load up a program. So true. Do you know what's so funny? I know someone that said Pro Tools ruined the, inter the entertainment industry because anybody could make music at that point. But that's a good question. Like, I mean, anybody could always make music, but to make the back end stuff that was so esoteric more available. Like we're streaming right now with stuff that we're like, I would have never thought I would have like been on the info webs to all the hundreds of thousands of our fans and followers. I'm the same way, Alibaba. Like um, I literally have a VA of a, a VCR going. I literally have a VCR with Kirk behind me because I'm still a fan. <laughs> I also like this guy. I call him Mexico Sinatra. His name is Vincente Fernandez. Of course, I know Vincente. My Vincente Fernandez reminds me of my grandmother. I found a two-disc set of him in a thrift store years ago for three bucks. Vincente Fernandez is a hero of mine. He's another one. You could just walk up to him and talk to him. He'd drink a Corona with you. How are you doing, Commander? I'm doing okay. I'm still here. So, um, because, you know, we're all here. We're all giving each other hugs. We haven't, go we haven't trashed the world today. Um, no. <laughs> so, I, and I know I gave that dispressing disclaimer. Like, let's not jump on uh, it's not fun to make fun of people passing but how do you guys feel about the whole submarine um, tragedy you know it's a shame but they did it's kind of like dangerous and they knew it was dangerous and it, that's it you know it's sad Would you, I, given the opportunity... Oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Phoenix. I was going to say, I agree and I raise you. The company was pretty shysty. It, 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 apparently, allegedly, they were not the um, people I would be taking a tiny little submersible, submersible that closed from the outside and you had no way out from the inside. They wouldn't have been my company. Well, when you're four miles down, it's kind of like you can't get out anyway. Fair. No. That I, that there, I point noted and don't disagree. 
I would. Also, I, carbon I, fiber, like you pick the wrong material to be making that stuff with. I haven't uh, looked into it. Did they make it out of titanium or no, AY80? It carbon, no, it was carbon fiber with a Logitech wireless oh. thing. And I like to turn the uh, the communications off because people were bugging him too much. Like that, it. it yeah, it's yeah. That's kind of like carbon fiber. There are issues with that. They should have at least, if they wanted to go halfway decent, they should have made it. with forget whether it's called HY eighty or KY eighty. It's been a long time since I worked at the place where they made those submarines. Mm -hmm. Not 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 the ones that just in, imploded. Other submarines. You know, I'm somewhere between Alibaba and Waternay because I bungee dumped. I surfed for years. I still have my surfboard above my head. I told the story yesterday on Phoenix's channel. And if you're not subscribed, you're missing half the story. <laughs> <laughs> you get I the almost... first four hours on Sunday nights, and then you get the follow-up to the stories tonight. This is like... Yeah, Mad Mike. At, <laughs> Mad Mike. At least he had some guts. Not a lot of brains, but some guts. Hey trees. Hey, do you know what? Okay, so I made this comment yesterday, but like not even the cocaine dealers are that brave. Like they get old subs. They get decommissioned Russian subs. They get like true and tried and tested subs. Like uh, I have crazy anxiety. I would take one step in that tube and be like, nope, nope, nope. You could keep the 250,000. No, thanks for letting me step in your in your tube. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a machinist for years. I know the issues with um, carbon fiber, and you have to do everything perfectly. And if there are like bubbles in it, you're just going to have it deform way too much. I I don't know. Um, I just couldn't have a loss of control like that. I used to go on cruises all the time, and I stopped going because I didn't like the loss of control. Maybe yeah, I'm old. Hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> this is before. Well, also getting the Norwalk virus oh, and getting true. sick and getting the shits. Um, that's no fun. This was yeah. all before. Um, like, I stopped cruising in 2015. Oh, well, they were having <laughs> sick ships in South Florida. It was just famous. Every, every fucking week, there'd be another ship that had to come back. Because everyone was getting the shits and throwing up. Yeah, no Carnival thanks. was the worst. Mm. I agree with Mark, though. It was an accident waiting to happen. I agree. Like, see, and that's another thing. Like, I, I've been on World War II era ships. I've been on wood ships. You couldn't get me on a tube like that. I've been on a real life pirate ship that was better built than that, than that sub. Like, uh, yikes, yikes. And this whole thing, like in my community, people are freaking out about the thirty dollar controller. If I saw an Amazon controller, I'd be like, I'm out. Keep my keep my money. Send your kids to college. I'll pay for a semester. Yeah, and I heard that they like got the lights from Lowe's. Like the whole they skimped out on all of the safety standards because they could, I don't know, because they did. So they went to Radio Shack Basically. and they hooked up there. <laughs> yes. This is the Radio Shack submarine version to the Titanic. But it is, feels weirdly ironic or apropos that one of the people, their great grandparents, great grandparents, they, like, they were descended from people who Dot, we're on the Titanic, so that was kind of funny. Like, was this just the ocean taking their vengeance? <laughs> I was obsessed with NASCAR and um, Dale Earnhardt um, Sr. passed away in his car. You know, did he deserve... I don't know. I just, when people, like, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like, maybe these, this is how these people wanted to go. I don't know. I try not to jump on people's grave. Even though I heard a comedian say... Um, I'm trying to be nice, but I know they're down there with Ariel and Sebastian. I, and yeah, I, the memes started. The, the memes started real early, and it was hard. Oh. There was a question about that. Like, is it too early? <laughs> it wasn't. I wouldn't go. 
I wouldn't go down in Alvin. And Alvin has never imploded. Okay. Oh, it wasn't just the material choice that was completely wrong. The shape was all wrong to withstand that sort of pressure. Probably. Oh, let's see here. Trees, a bunch of rich efforts died on the Titanic. Then a bunch of rich efforts died looking in the watery grave to find the first ones. Yup. <laughs> okay. But like when I watched the movie, I was like, but all the, all the poor people died too on the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, the they, <laughs> and they went down with the ship. <laughs> awful <laughs> awful i agree i don't know but like i think i have that thing in my head like one day i want to be as rich as those ruthless people though but like if i was a billionaire i would make sure everyone else around me was a millionaire i my driver i'd be like here's a couple mil for christmas or like the door guy like here's half a mil just for being smiley or something hey, i don't know big spender <laughs> Brewster's Millions. I'm really aging myself. If you've ever seen Brewster's Millions, you're down. <laughs> I, I, I remember do, that. I love Brewster that had to piss away an ungodly sum of money in order to inherit an even bigger ungodly sum of money. <laughs> I dressed like Richard Pryor in that movie for like a year. A pair of jeans and a baseball jersey. I loved that movie. <laughs> If I had a billion dollars, I would not go down in any sub four miles. I don't fucking care. I wouldn't put myself in that kind of risk either. Because now you're an investment and you have to protect your family. And when you make that much money, even a little bit of money, you're an investment all of a sudden. Like, you're a liability. Because if you yeah. go down, a lot of other people are going to starve. So you have right. to have things in place to protect those people. It's crazy. Have a great night, Dick. Have a great night. Good night, Dick. I saw Earnhardt die live. You know what's really funny? I were I worked at a Walmart. I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a hundred years ago. Gosh, gosh, that was so long ago. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at Trees' comment and the submarine did look like a flashlight. Oh, I have to open my door real quick. Sorry. No, oh, that's okay. Let's see here. Oh. Yeah, oh. Alvin is a sphere made of titanium. That and I don't little... think nuclear subs go down as deep as the Titanic. I don't think they do. I don't know. I'm not the... Not my... Like area of expertise they even like when i worked at a place no one was actually told the exact de depth that they um would go to uh-huh oh you you guys just didn't have that security clearance um it's a need to know thing like Wait. i did have a clearance to look at nuclear power plant prints mm -hmm. but you know, if I tried to assemble a lot of them at one time, we wouldn't be right. talking. Right. And right. it was a need to know. Yep. What do I need to do to do my job? Anything else? Right. I don't want that. And you probably didn't want that stress either. To be quite honest, you can find more pictures yeah. of nuclear reactors on the internet than you could find about the reactors on the ships. Fear. Come show yourself. You want, to, you want to come say hi live or what? Okay, no, I'll see you later. So my... Um, say, hi. say hi, everybody. This is my ex-wife. I identify as a potato because I like to get baked and smashed. I identify as a penguin wearing power armor. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you for critiquing my style. <laughs> Never boring day here in the house of Zoe. Never a boring day. Let me catch up with the chat. 
We lost a few people in that one. <laughs> it, it, yeah. And my ex-wife does look like uh, what's her face from uh, Nidish behavior. I've been aboard one submarine. What is that? The use says Renquin? Requin? Requin. They have it moored and rivered by the Carnegie Science Center in Pittsburgh. And you can see it go inside parts of the museum. And that's really awesome. Yeah. I would love to see something like that. I don't see any point of risking people to go that deep. We have awesome video cameras. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you a thousand percent on that. I'll pay money like um i'll go like on the east coast sip i don't drink alcohol but i'll like sip my ties and watch it on tv can i smoke a j on the beach i boats are awesome that crazy person you just saw her and i went on the ocean a few times the ocean is beautiful would you pay money to basically remote control an rov like in the keys on a coral reef or something yes i would love to see that I would love to see something like that. I have no problem with that whatsoever. But like, it's just, I, I don't know. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't want to go down there. What? I don't like watching second place. The ship sank. Do you know, a long time ago, I was obsessed with singing, a British tar is a soaring soul. And I sang it to a friend of mine who was Welsh. And she looked at me one day and she was like, William, the ship sank. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get over it. So my ex-wife was not impressed with my span. She thought I was wearing a skirt. She had to come in here for inspection. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, trees. But she, she's crazy. She is crazy. She is crazy. So that sub's just docked in um, Pittsburgh or what? I think so. Pittsburgh is landlocked. Yeah. Well, the, so no, it has the Allegheny. Got Lake Erie, which is connects via the Niagara River to the ocean. Isn't it the, not the Allegheny? Is it the Allegheny? Am I thinking no, of? It's Lake Erie. Cleveland? Allegheny is a land. Is that in Cleveland? Uh, Cleveland's uh, on Lake Erie. Yes. <laughs> on the car. Now, as far the... as getting over <laughs> the um, Niagara Falls in a submarine, that would be something. <laughs> that would be that, right. It's like the guys who used to go over in the barrels. <laughs> Look up to CSS Hudley. Singer's nephew made the subs hand pump. Oh, that's awesome for the Civil War. Which side? And, and, you know, and I'm not asking that um, from an evil standpoint. In my family, um, so far, there's like 28 people who fought in the Confederacy and only like two or three that fought for the Union. Because my entire family is from Clinton, South Carolina and um, Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> So I want to know what side. <laughs> oh, the Hunley, isn't that a Confederate? Uh, I'm so I thought that was. Duh, I should read. <laughs> There's three rivers. And the only reason I know that is because um, the night that, um, that, that was the first time that the Undertaker really beat up mankind for real, like at a pay-per-view, and it was in Pittsburgh. And JR kept on saying like, Oh, it's just the Allegheny River. They're going to take him to the Allegheny Hospital or something, something, something. I could be wrong. Oh, they, yeah, the Allegheny might be a river there, too. But I may or may not still watch that when I'm tuning out the world. Because I'd rather watch wrestling tapes from 20-something years ago than, like, see what's going on in modern times sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this rocks when I first heard about how early they had a submarine. Oh, same he was working for the South. Yeah, I figured he was working for the North. The, hey, man, this is a, they call it a civil war for a reason. Here there's three rivers meet. The Allegheny. The, you're going to have to help me out. Monongahela. And the Ohio. 
See, I knew. I knew it was Allegheny. <laughs> and then I'd be able to pull out my <laughs> His nephews for the South. Crazy. Crazy. I love Civil War history like that. People are shocked that I even have a Confederate, a real-life Confederate cult, but you can't flash on screen anymore. No, not during live streams. I used to flash that thing all the time. It's like, you know, um, I can legally walk on, around. We have to, those are for the Rumble exclusive. <laughs> you know what? I am going to do a, so if, if, ooh, you know what, Trees, if you're still, um, if you're still listening, I'm going to do a Rumble stream and we should do a weapons stream. I have all fun. I have all. Okay, stop talking about it on the YouTube. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kid. <laughs> Dude, that's so sad. That is so sad. I'm not a self censoring kind of person. So it's weird to me that, like, I have to say Mass Hooter or Yahtzees. Oh, or, and it, like... whatever just happened in the past, like, literal 24 hours is way cray cray. Okay, Commander will be back shortly. Okay. Oh, you know, you were talking about asking about my Pluterhosen, and I have some small updates. So we have three lengths of our painting done. They do need to still be pressed. I'm waiting till I get there. And then for the fashion fabric on the outside, I was like, oh, that's nice. This. And then we have this one, the brocade with the green from the other week. And I was like, who needs, why did, why just pick one when I'm going to do a front and a back opposite, front and back with one of each and then a back opposite one of each. <laughs> well, it's going to be more crazy than last time. And I've been watching how to do full, full fronts all in between working all day. But I think the drafting will be easy. It's just the construction. It's just figuring out all the extra pieces. But it'll be okay. You know what, Renee? Um, I grew up with a man who was from Savannah, Georgia. And he would wear Confederate flag t-shirts. My dad had a Confederate flag trucker hat. Like, he was so politically incorrect by today's standards. Like, it's not even funny. I don't even know. <laughs> Where to stand? I everyone knows I have one. I put a giant penis in the middle of a Confederate flag. I'm not going to take it down. I've shown it a thousand times. <laughs> like uh, it is a controversial issue, but I know a lot of like I have a ton of family members who live in the South, and they were mad when the Georgia State flag was changed when they took the Confederate flag off the Georgia State flag years ago. Or even that they just named renamed. Oh, the the one military installation that like forever had this name that you're like, Oh, it's this base to what is it like camp Liberty now? Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> For the us. thing is the more and more you deny history, you're going to repeat it. Right. No. We can't, right. Kids need to, <laughs> we need to remember why these things make you uncomfortable. You can't say that. Like, the thing that makes me boil over, though, is when someone says, like, oh, something, like, they'll deny that something happened. Like, it happened. Especially right? in like the, the modern era. Prior, like, so much <laughs> stuff. It's like, no, this shit happened. It's like, my family yeah. left for a reason. <laughs> we have pictures, kids. We have pictures, like, in the modern era, you know. Ooh. I Good. Thank you. You do a pair of pants in each fabric. Ooh, I like that idea too. I I could, but I thought if I mixed and matched, then I would also have enough for an over the top doublet. Because why stop stop at the trousers when you need the top to, to coordinate? <laughs> it's Fort it's... Cavazos now. The clothing—it's <laughs> good. The Fort Hood. But what was the other one that they, was it? Fort Knox? Something. Fort that, Bragg that, is. Maybe that one. Brag to Fort Benning. <laughs> Benning sounds like a butler. Yeah. Yeah. The more, deny history. Thank you. And, and you know what the funny thing is? We have history to know this. We we know this because of history. The more you like, human beings weirdly go in cycles. So you we can't even say like, oh, this isn't going to happen. Like we're on the fast track for the recession all over again a hundred years later. 
Oh, I and have the a... fast check for the mainstream media, like I'm making up stories and craziness. And I, it, oh, it, oh my God. Okay. I can't get angry because this sewing part is fiddly and I don't want to fuck it up because I don't like to sew angry. But the narratives that they're trying to sell gullible people, and I worry about all these sheeple folks who are just like sitting there like yes please fe like baby birds feed it to me this is of course you say it it must be true because a gajillion years ago journalism and used to have integrity and now everything is just bought for by the highest bidder and it's gross i agree with you alibaba like i think they do want to repeat it it's just strange to me like we uh, yeah we have access to this information and we're literally going down the same road. It makes me like, that's why I go in my backyard and smoke Jays with my headphones on. <laughs> Mind my own business. I've let my tree overgrow. It's beautiful. I sit, I have a perch next to an old fountain. I sit there. It's beautiful in my backyard. Yeah. We just finished reading Michael Malice's The White Pill and yeah. It, it's an interesting go through. The flag is problematic, and I don't think it should be flown. But I also recognize that it has strong regional associations separate from the whole racist ones. I agree too. But it's always like I'm completely lefty when it comes to that um, view. But I know people who actually live there and aren't affected by it. Right, and at the same time, like this is getting back to the whole same thing of the First Amendment and st like. These things are there for the speech that we dislike the most and find the most egregious, not for the people that we agree with. What does 459 mean? I don't know. My um, super duper ex-girlfriend from uh, when I was 25 and she was, I don't want to say her age anymore, but she was a little bit older than me. <laughs> Maybe the age I am now. <laughs> no, she was. Well, anyways, she texts me every once in a while. That's so weird. Whatever. Got it. Facebook, all that stuff is so dangerous. It doesn't really repeat. It's a reasonable facim facsimile. Facsimile. A copy. It's my Sylvester mouth. It's completely a divide and conquer strategy. And so many of all per persuasions are falling for yes. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. so true. It's so, it, it is divide and conquer. Commander, are you still here? <laughs> it's kind of like the same. I mean, we've got that oh, so much stuff. And the whole thing with the Russian coup, the, what, the 12 hour coup where nobody died. It's like, yeah, no, this is not a coup. <laughs> When you're taking selfies, it's not a coup. I'm old school. Nobody, nobody died. I'm old school. Leadership was not overthrown. This was not a coup. That's a rat video. They're driving around with 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 large guns, looking tough. That was a rat video. Sorry. Right. If I hurt your feelings, I apologize. But come on. I see. I I could literally go over the hill right now and see more and see more damage than what they did. <laughs> They're oh. like, no, we were just going, this is the way to Belarus. Didn't you know it shares the same road? And we're like, gonna have a spoon hammer that is causing a problem. Um, do I? I... The real I... owners of this country want everybody in their house all the time. Isolated, miserable, and divided. If we were actually went out united. I think about this all the time because... Even, like, in certain communities, when I was a kid, when you saw someone, you said hello. When you saw someone, like, I am extremely polite. I am polite to a default. It's it's a, it's an issue I have. I open up doors for people. I say please and thank you. People do not say thank you back. Or I'll say, excuse me. Someone will say nothing as I walk past them, you know? Mm. I think etiquette has kind of disappeared. Well lit. What is that? Pagosian. Did you shoot down three aircraft? 
it was really disappointing. I wanted to see Moscow. That I thought that was coming. Honestly, I thought that was going to be the outcome. To tell you the honest truth. And I think that's it was a why. Huge letdown. I had to use the voice because <laughs> yeah. after all, you see the um, Ukraine thing right on the right on the power armor. I know, I but the, like, here folks, we go. the military folks that I've been listening to who are like still involved are like, no, this was no, like p- p- that. Oh, Pagosian is not spelled right, but I won't fault you because I couldn't spell that either. But it, yeah, no, it's. Oh. Much. It was the attachment we couldn't ID on the stream a couple weeks ago. We didn't recognize it in the moment. Oh, okay. I was kind of expecting, like, and that's why I try not to get too political with um, the things that I say because, like, I was expecting them to, like, do some, like, historic, you know, something that my grandkids were going to read in a history book one day. And it just seemed like a bunch of posturing to me. Well, Prigozhin got pissed off, right? And then he decided, I'm going to march to Moscow. Certainly the elites are going to be with me. And then he found out none of the oligarchs were with him. He probably could have let the streets of Moscow run with blood and taken over for a while, but being the fact that the um, elites probably weren't going to be with him... Uh, what would happen would be Shoigu and the other douchebags would have to drag uh, more than 100,000 troops from Ukraine all the way to Moscow to kill him. He didn't have logistics to keep his, um, you know, little band alive. And he was good as dead anyway. He's good as dead now. I'll give him maybe a month before he flies out a window. Oh, no, they're more sophisticated than that. It'll be secret poisoning if that happens but i don't think so. i don't know it they they literally invented poisoning people so they're gonna poison <laughs> they invented it <laughs> they're the best like yeah. <laughs> some guy will be standing there green like did he go to russia recently and he like passes out at the podium like come on how many times have we seen that movie <laughs> well i mean that entire country started out with um the czar calling himself basically terrible or enemy. It's Ms. Moore, um, I'm trying to remember. Tarok Lefanai Shukan Neged Zorai, which is the plural for czar, which means enemy. He literally said, I am enemy. Well, I mean, whatever's going on there, Zelensky just said that they're, he doesn't want to have elections in. Ukraine right now either. So we've got one pissing dictator over another pissy dictator. I, right. The Wagner group is everywhere. They're in 35 countries. They have artisanal um, mining operations going on in Africa right now. So like they they've got their hands in lots of pots that could cause lots of problems. Wow, I didn't mean to be so feisty when I'm like call claws out right now. Sorry. Well, you know, Oh, you know me, I'm all wrists and swimming and... <laughs> stitching, 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 all I do is stitching. In fact, what you were talking about is what I'm going to be, um, the video that I'm using this model for. I'm basically going to be taking FDR's... Um, <sighs> Arsenal of Democracy speech and part of it, explaining all of the domestic propaganda the Nazis were using and drawing parallels today. America first, where did that come from? Well, that came from the people who wanted to make friends with Hitler back in the day. And um, people are screaming it now. Um, If you were like in Germany in the 1930s before Hitler took over... 
the exact same argument and accusations being made against the Democrats were being made against the Jews. Mr. Friedrich Nietzsche, Jews are communists, Christians are socialists, God is dead, he coined the slogan of the Third Reich before Hitler was born. And evangelicals basically scream the same thing at the people that they hate, that dead rabbit atheists used to scream at Christians and Jews 150 years ago. So, I mean, there's so many parallels today. Well, the arguments, they, they get recycled and people turn them around on each other because they're, ugh. I hear these arguments and I'm like, wait a minute, this was used for something else. I, I think it, where have I heard this before? I don't think that we've seen the last of, what is that his name? Prigozhin. Prigozhin. He knows he's dead if he doesn't make Moscow. I agree. So he's probably trying to sure up support before. I agree with you. I agree. Because once you show yourself, I was like, oh, this guy's done. Like, this guy's done. But I'm an American. You know, I think I come from the American sense where it's scorched earth. If you, like, cross America, then you Jeffrey Epstein yourself. But on a later topic, <laughs> Ailey, you've got me looking for one of these uh Recording foot for my white. Is this a? Am I? Did you send me on a quest for a unicorn? Because I've not found a vertical, low shank, cording foot. Does that? Are you? Do they really exist? And how much is this going to set me back? <laughs> I. You know, it's really funny. Um, there are certain parts that are unicorns. There are certain parts where you're like, I. This is impossible. Why did I get this machine? Like, like what am I doing? I keep looking and I've yet to find one. <laughs> but then the next question is, could I use a modded one on my 101? Let's see here, because we're all having trouble with his name. It's Yevgeny Prigozhin. Cording feet are un... Oh my god, a word I... Hey, hands. Um, you know, botanium. Hmm. That you know, I don't get wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God, we have two halves. Now I just need to do the binding and cut the tabs. And that feels terrifying. <laughs> Complain about my love hate relationship with this eyelet press. They look good, but they're not super awesome, so I'll just hand stitch. But then I was like, this is the mock up, and I, whatever. A high shank is, oh, it's Water Nay says, hi, hand, hey, hands, Allie, let's see here. High shank is oh. all I found for a specific cording foot for corded courses, the ones I have. Our original obsolete. Okay. It is oh, coming yeah. since I started this in like January and then I had some mistakes and was like, I can't, I can't look work on you right now. I'm going to make a headband. I've been watching like NOI propaganda. There's the, like every 10 years they pick a really good looking guy. Thank you. A really good looking person to spread propaganda of this of this specific religion and all it really is is like wake up brush your teeth make your bed respect yourself don't let it you know it's like it's old school like have respect for yourself you right, things that, right basics things that you should probably do, do but this guy's been rocking a headband and i'm i'm gonna make a headband because i want to look like a ninja turtle all right thank you, thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> But I'm trying to pick because I have such a, a giant head. I have to measure it, you know, because I like it going over my ears and my eyebrows, but I don't want it to be too big. I know. I, I know. I think I could do eyelets on my baby lock if I take her out of the bad kid corner, but I don't have a machine that takes, I mean, does this take a cam? Like I know my what I don't. I don't know if I've got a machine that does that's in that age range. <laughs> you would know because it would have a flap on top. And that's not in you. I know that's no, all. I got no flappies on top. <laughs> we're all stainless in my head. We're all cat. We're no, still we talking sewing flap. machines. We're still talking <laughs> sewing machines. <laughs> we don't flap around. I'm in the gutter. My mind's in the gutter. It's me. It's me. 
<laughs> doing backflips. <laughs> oh, I know one person who has a Chinese eyelet press and they use a center punch to wedge the clamp ring better. Int okay, brilliant. Center punch and a hammer. Yeah, I. that is a good idea. Not a fan of headbands, some like them, no. I think he, are, we're not going for like the half head like headbands like my horns are. I, I'm going to go with this is like a turban style with a wrap that goes all the way around. Full, like all the way around my head. I love, I weirdly like headbands because I had to um, embrace my baldness over the years. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Yep, that eyelid one was only for the singer low shank. Yeah, I don't have that. Yep, I know. Who wants their eczema to flare? Or psoriasis, anything to flare up like on your face. Red itchy skin rashes on the face are the mother freaking pits. I get it right here. That's why I grow my uh, my chin strap. Because I get it on the side of my face right here. Yeah. I have white my milk spots right here. I'm like, might as well just let the hair grow. <laughs> Instead of touch it. <laughs> let the picking on begin. Could use a vintage button holder on the 101 that would presuppose i have one of those <laughs> thank you i love that turn me like you know it's so sad i am so old i remember watching fame on television fame i'm gonna uh, live, forever. live forever i'm gonna learn how to fly I freaking I'm love gonna that. make it happen i had friends who went to that school <laughs> I was like, because of my asthma and my low immune system, I was always home. So I watched a gang of television as a kid. So I loved fame. <laughs> I loved that show. I think that's why I'm like so down to bring that couch cushion era back. Right. The 70s and the 80s where things were OTT. Yeah, top clamps are different. I, right, because I know headbands like that used to have like the little prickers on their heads. They're kind of hurty. I completely forgot. Okay, first off, I wear black every day. Okay, and this has been an issue since I was about 13, 14 years old. If somebody wear, is wearing black every day, it is not polite to ask them, You going to a funeral? You dress like a funeral. <laughs> I still ask that. I thought that died with the goth 90s. <laughs> I'm in my well, 40s guy. <laughs> well, I wear black every day and I'm not goth. It, it gets annoying because like somebody asked me that today and I'm like, I haven't been asked that in a long time. Maybe and I was never goth. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just really into dark metal. Get out my <laughs> it just trips me out. It trips me out how people uh, are still think along those lines, you know. It's rude. And yes, the godless musical will be net. You know, once I figure out copyright strikes, I will have the godless sewing the lip the lip syncing version. Like Mojo <laughs> Nixon and the Toad Lickers. I didn't think that song was gonna go through, and it went through. It's so confusing. I watched the TV show, saw the movie afterwards. Very different tone. Yikes. I could have my own my own version of flash dance. I could do the bucket and everything. That's what the big bucket of water, isn't it? Or is that fame? <laughs> oh, I know a heavy duty eyelet press. I think part of my problem is that I, I need to set it on the floor because I don't have a place to mount it. And also, if I mount it on something, I'm not tall enough to get good leverage. So it could be a me problem. This is so true, especially this time of year. Like with my vests, I don't wear a lot of my vests because it's so dang hot. <laughs> so you'll see different vests this time of year. <laughs> that fashion looks cool, but also kind of high maintenance. And I'm too lazy for that. Um, oh, I absolutely love of herbs and altars. Yes, Dorian's great. I, I like, I want to be sponsored like, like they are too. Like, well, I think he gets a weird time practice. And also, he's been around for like 15 years. If you go back, like, 
like on his channel, like he's been around um, forever. Right, yeah. Good night, everybody. I gotta start heading out to work. Have a great night. It's great. It great was great seeing you. Great seeing you too. Hopefully no, I, next week I'll be able to be with you longer. Awesome. You're always uh, invited here on the God of Sewing channel. Now I just have fame stuck in my head. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to make the recycler rich this time of year. And I go through Pepsis like people go through Bud Lights or used to before everyone hated Bud Lights. Yeah, I know. I think those eyelet presses do. Even the one I have, I think it would work better if it was bolted down. And I just don't have a good spot. If you want to sponsor, I bet you can find some random chemical company in LA to throw you a 20 every month. <laughs> That's not too far from the truth. I bet I could find a bunch of sponsors if I really pushed myself. There's a bunch of weird companies. And this one thrift store I go to they have every field clothing company you could i have some really cool shirts of clothing companies that like dump their entire stock on the thrift store <laughs> oh wow they were like i'm sick of you or they had to liquidate for financial reasons that was like all right we're out it happens all the time i have doubles of certain shirts so i'm like these are sick i'm buying two of these i've learned i've learned like especially when they go for like a buck 99 or two bucks i'm like even though it's a field company this is an awesome shirt right because now it's um, one of a kind. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, um, it's of herbs and altars. Is the channel we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I've been watching that channel. Like, there are certain channels that I, I have been watching since, since the day I, start, I started my channel. And that's one that I have not ever unsubbed from. And I think he talks about very interesting, nuanced topics from points of experience that people need to think about. Do you want to hear something really sad? We, we strangely lead the same kind of life. Like when Isaiah um, is with his mom, I'll get in my car and I'll like, go to like the San Fernando graveyard, um, the San Fernando mission graveyard and go eat lunch. Like I do stuff like that all the time. And they give you a tour of uh, their area too. The 10, the 10 hour tour. <laughs> well, that was, is it too early to go back to Gilligan's Island and shipwreck jokes? <laughs> it's so funny that you'd say that. My mom went boating yesterday. I was like, don't, don't become Gilligan. Don't become Gilligan. <laughs> And she said the whole time she was nervous because like, I put that in her head. <laughs> it's real, man. You got to situational awareness is important, people. <laughs> well, for me, it's loss of control. That's why I'm really bad. Like, it's different. I'm a lake guy. I'll get on a boat in a lake because you could swim. Like a mother trucker, you could swim. If your life was dependent on it, you would swim to the shore. Right. You know? I love the ocean, but up where I, oh, we're going to forget about that problem. Um, sneaker waves are real, and don't turn your back on the ocean. <laughs> I never. Or again. Or ever. I told that story yesterday. I almost died in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. If it wasn't for that Australian man who was a complete fish, he saved my life. I bought a 12-pack of Pepsi on Friday, and it's almost gone. I'm crazy. I buy cubes. I need professional help. And I put the 12-packs, full carton and everything, in the fridge. <laughs> I need professional help with my Pepsi addiction. You have codes that I think would sell easy in a pop-up store. I think about that. Oh, it's so funny you would say that. I was recently thinking about that. I could sell to the rapper crowd that like, cause I dress like a couch cushion and I think that would really sell to the new age. Like, Oh, they think that like Molly's or something new. They think they invented drugs. <laughs> I bet I could really sell to those kids. I bet I really could. Especially like when you think you invented something, I'm like, here, wear this kid. It's got a lot of colors. Take lots of vitamin C and drink water. Go have fun. Don't break your teeth. Here's your baby, kids. <laughs> 
no, I do laugh about that, and that's not even me being an ageist. That's just experience. Like, I recently, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this because this person has hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But there's a YouTuber that's out there. They said they found Jesus. No, no, no. They found they had an experience through an edible. Uh, I'm from the West Coast. Like we eat gold cap mushrooms. Like you want to have an experience? Come to the West Coast. <laughs> like no, which um, oh, I gave my disclaimer in the beginning of the stream. So legal, medical, or whatever. No if you learn something accidentally, that's on you. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like to people who have actually like gone on real trips, they're like, oh wow, this kid's talking about having an experience on an edible. But like. They found Gilligan's Island boat. It's still there. In it. Yeah, and the professor has made a bunch of stuff. That's what I'm saying, Alibaba. I think there's a market for random things he likes. I think about that all the time because people around me are um, accusing me as being as just as bad as fast fashion. And there are certain people that are not allowed in my closet anymore. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring that up. Is that I wasn't? No, I didn't it, mean you. I just my. Had my ex-wife shames me for my fabric habit. She shames me. And she's like, bro, what's the difference between this? Because I used to clown her because she had a Ross habit and like a Marshall's habit. And quite mm -hmm. honestly, there's no difference. Uh, well, the quality well, I, of your finished garments are going to be way superior than that. True. Trash. Second true, hand. I do like double, triple, and quadruple reinforce my seams. <laughs> It's not just a statement, it's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not only the president, I'm also a member. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch to cubes. Cubes. Uh, you know why? Because I don't like going uh, back to the store. And I don't, I justify a lot of my habits because I don't drink alcohol. I do not partake in nicotine. So. There's a few vices that you can take out of my cold, dead hands, and Pepsi's one of them. <laughs> Could you ever sell out there? I, I probably... I need to get off my duff and do that. I was thinking about, like... See, I need to stop watching the news. Okay, so back in the day, kids, I lived in this really richy area named Playa del Rey. Um, it's on the beach. It's where the, it's the end of the runway of um, LAX. It's a very famous beach here in L.A. Doc Weiler Beach is right next to it. I think that's what it's called. Um, long story short, last night there was a shooting in the in the apartment complex of where in the parking lot where I used to live. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to L.A. again. And that's in the super richy like yacht money. We got lucky to live there. Um, lucky. This is back when, like, we were paying nine hundred bucks a um, a month. This was. 22 years ago right this is not now it's like <laughs> 3500 if you're lucky <laughs> oh i do no i agree with you water name my ex um like even today you know what it is it's because like both of us have changed immensely and um she used to be the chill one and i was the uptight one and we've gone in completely different directions now i'm the chill one and she's the one that's like i hate life smoking cigarettes like <laughs> oh so now when i see that she looks like um niddish behavior you'll now know what i'm talking about she really it's the glasses though I saw fast fashion today, a natural fabric underclothes done in 15. <laughs> well, would that be considered fast fashion? Because I made it last night. I know. I was going to say, I got accused of sewing super fast when I finished a linen skirt in 20 minutes. But I'd already done the top hemming. So I'd already done some stuff. But yeah, I, I guess I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was like fast. People were like, that would have taken me all night. And I'm like, it. I sewed a rectangle with a waistband that I strewed an elastic in. Venice. I want, I'm, I'm old. I'm literally get off my lawn guy. I, I would love to go to Venice, but they have a San Francisco problem right now. <laughs> Since cause San Francisco's got a San Francisco problem <laughs> right now. I, and you know, and I think I get so like, what has happened to my city? Because I used to live in these places. I was a dumb, plucky, 
um, kid driving around in my 1983 VW Gold Rabbit with a rag top. <laughs> With my surfboard out, I was. It was literally the Barbie movie. I was a real life Ken <laughs> in my own little world, you know. And it's just that whole area. And Santa Monica and Venice was for rich people. Like you had to yeah. be super rich to live there. All right, I'm done on these for tonight because the next part is putting the binding on the bottom with the tabs, and I don't think I can do that and talk at the same time. I know the feeling. I, know but I, I, was... I finger pressed. I Did I? No, I did not take out my electric oven iron, <sighs> but I did bad. use this hematite in my favorite <clears throat> to rock press my seams. <laughs> yes, his business has stock to see. That's what I'm saying. Like, when it's on the news, I'm like, oh, it's a problem because no one ever does anything about anything in L.A., ever. I'm going to be right back. Okay. So when it's on the news, I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's a problem because they're now bringing it to everyone's attention. They're like, uh, I think we should do something about this now. So when in all actuality, they should have done something about it in the first place, you know? It's sad. But because of gentrification, they kicked all everyone out of downtown L.A. And now they're wondering why people are filtering all throughout the city. And because we have trains, you can train hop. You can walk all the way up Santa Monica Boulevard straight to the beach. <laughs> so it's just it's sad. I actually work with an organization that um, tries to help homeless people, but it's an uh, um, insurmountable task. In LA, it's just unreal. God, I have the worst song stuck in my head right now. You make me feel. I have Sylvester stuck in my head. It was a recommendation on YouTube, and I've been rocking out to it. Oh man, I have the worst song stuck in my head. LA is a perfect example of what happens when you don't think of blowback and unintended consequences. I agree. Do you know what's so sad? Picard literally, like in season two, they had this whole shtick about LA and it's happening right now. And it was supposedly supposed to be a couple years from now. All the new people going to LA, they go right where everyone else goes. That's really it's it's sad. It is sad. You know, for years I've been jokingly saying like, oh, LA is a great place. Don't move here. Don't move here. We get every prom queen and king around America. The homeless situation makes me upset. We, society, need to stop complaining about it and actually do something about it. That's, Waternay, that was one of my biggest beefs with coming online in general because people would talk about certain things and they'd say certain things and I'm like, what are you doing to help the problem? And I would get so upset. And there's people who literally hate me because I would be like, I work with an organization. Come on down. I'll, I'll give you gloves and a smock and a mask. And you can, you, you can help us out. I used to, I challenged quite a few um, people. It bothered me when I would see um, in, in certain communities, they'd say, I'm an activist. And I would be like, retweeting is not, um, doesn't make you an activist. You're muted, Phoenix. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You're muted. <laughs> I was complaining that... Okay, go ahead. I want to hear that. It looked important. It looked important. <laughs> <laughs> right. We could fix it. But the homelessness industrial complex is real. Like, there are certain parties and political groups who don't want it to end because that's been their platform for 30 years. Yeah. Like we could do it. They just don't, they really literally just don't want to. I don't, as my belief. It's but just, I, it's. It, I know. And why are we like giving, like they're telling hotels and motels, you're like, sorry, you can't have paying customers. We're going to like, make you house people who may or may not want to be there, give you subpar money. Like, it's so, oh, I don't know what the right answer is. It just SRO me. never, like, Skid Row, like, SROs never work. I, mean, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. At least from my view, certain SROs didn't work. I don't even know what the answer is anymore. Yeah. And from, and from what I can tell, Starsky once referred to Zelensky as a 
libertarian and Sarsi said that he didn't vote for Zelensky. I don't really know enough about democratic Ukrainian politics to talk. Well, Zelensky's a puppet who used to be a failed or was a comedic actor who they groomed and was like, hey, you know funny in business in Hollywood no more. We give we give you job. You act here. I think he was in Paddington too, wasn't he? In one of the Pad I'm obsessed with Paddington the Bear. So I think he was in one of the Paddington movies. Maybe. My idea is we restart work progress administration from the 1930s give homeless people jobs and give them a trade we we're trying that here but they just don't we, we don't have the infrastructure we need massive help one new one million new immigrants in canada our population is 39 oh, right. that's how you're combating your um poor your birth decline you're like our population's growing it's just that they're immigrants and people Alexa, are actually having babies. How many people live in the entire state of California? According to the 2020 U.S. Census, the population of California is 39.5 million people, which is a 6.1% increase over the 2010 U.S. Census. Oh, here's an idea. I can play Alexa, Jeopardy on thank you. You're so welcome. Your kindness really gives me a charge. There are more people in the state of California by a 0.5 than there is in all of Canada. Well, I mean, the Northern, who, who, there's very few people who live in parts of Canada. <laughs> I love that statistic. When Isaiah was really young, he would come up with these weird statistics and that, I, that one has never changed. But we're, but, but Canada's population has grown just in the past couple of years by um, a billion or two. Right, I'm, a million. Of immigrants who in some places are like we left horrible fascist communist places and we're thinking we'd rather move back that's not that's not great canada i'm worried about you guys okay but like i agree with you water Nay, but we need people who know what they're doing in certain trades not just give people a job who don't know what they're doing just to fill a space because it creates a problem like what we have now we have a workforce who doesn't know what they're doing and that's not even my Karen side. That's somebody who, who knows how to count. You know, it's funny about, about war. America's assistance to Ukraine is the first time since we've invaded Afghanistan. That's where I've been. I've been for the U.S. participating in or helping a military action. <laughs> you did. Me and I have worked for the defense contractors. You know what's really funny? I almost bought one of those giant pianos, like they had a big. Have you ever seen the movie Big? With Tom no. Hanks? It there's like a giant floor piano, but I thought like, what evil things did someone do to this giant floor piano? <sighs> yeah. Or on it, I just it's something. It just screamed it was dirty to me. <laughs> you guys would have hated me if I purchased that thing. It was huge. It was literally a floor piano. <laughs> no, you would have hated you. <laughs> this is not about us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't hit this thing that much. <laughs> okay, kids, it's halftime. <laughs> it's louder because I hooked up my fourth JBL speaker because I got really bored. I took a week off and I hooked up all my tech. Yeah, like, yep, yeah, oh, the God. North Pole or the Northwest Territories. It's huge. Immigrants and Chinese secret police stations. I know. And then people try to say that there really wasn't one in New York City and Los Angeles. I'm like, hmm. In Saski, I could look across the prairie and the light could be over 30, 350 clicks away. That is impressively flat land. <laughs> you have to say that for in case there's any flat earthers watching, which I still am just shocked you guys exist. Sorry. <laughs> I'll never get over that. That and young earth creationists, like, never. I will never. Like, I will be on my... My death, my last breath will be like, I can't believe they wasted their life. <laughs> oh man, I've got so much linen left. What do I want to? What do I want to make next? I know I'm constantly on that. I might make a pair of spants for my ex-wife since she hates him so much. 
I was saying that we should just give them jobs. I was saying that we should train them. No, no, no. Oh, no. In no way, shape, or form am I disagreeing with you. I completely, 100% agree with you. I'm mad at today's workforce. That's my real beef. I'm a Karen. Like, it just, it made me laugh that the one time I finally got my stuff together and I can finally go out and spend money, nobody knows how to count or how anything works. And it's just, um, it just makes me sad sometimes for the youth. Like, and, and I constantly think, like, these people are our future. I think they're our, down, our downfall at this point. Man, and they're getting emotional. Like, I, I don't know. And, and I'm not trying to bash the youth because I always say, who taught them? Who taught these kids? You know, it was their, the, the, the generation who was like, my parents treated me a one way, so I'm going to go complete opposite of that. And it didn't work. No. Have you seen how long you posted it? Boys, Schwartz. Floor piano. I need to look that up. I've seen quite a few. I'm addicted to watching really weird um, videos because I'm, um, even though I dress like Londo Malari, I'm all about positivity. <laughs> so I love it. Like when, when rough people walk up to pianos at malls and they play Mozart or like, I love that. You know, it's, it's all the kids would have been at your place doing roles or something on the piano. <laughs> My, um, yeah, they try to drop, they still try to drop their kids off because I have all the video games and stuff here. And I'm like, pay me, I'll babysit $300 an hour. <laughs> We're all out of video games and cookies. Sorry, kids. <laughs> oh, I'm, and that's another thing. Like, this is a man's house. Like, I'll babysit. They're gonna, they're gonna come to your car with a Pepsi in their hand and a sugar cookie with this much frosting on top. This is like, like I, the sign at the old stores where, like, <laughs> unattended children will be given coffee and candy bars. <laughs> I had one of those signs. Where's my sign? I have to look. It's probably on my altar somewhere. It says all unattended children will be returned to owner. <laughs> There's a tower in Regina, Saskatoon. Is it Saskatoon that you could, or Saskatchewan, that you can see the curvature of the earth? It's a tourist trap. I love a good tourist trap, though. I won't even lie. Like, every once in a while, I still take Isaiah down to Hollywood and we eat a, a $40 pizza that you can get for 10 bucks on my side of town. I took Isaiah to Baja Fresh in Hollywood. We we each bought $15 patches. He got a Spider-Man patch. I got a um a Slayer patch. I took him to Baja Fresh. I spent, like, 50 bucks at Baja Fresh just getting lunch for my son and I. In the same Baja Fresh, we'd spend, like, 25 I know a sheath dress would be nice. And I've heard that this once and it stuck with me. There's no problem with the youth that 20 years won't solve fair. <laughs> My favorite saying is that youth is wasted on the young. I love saying that. <laughs> Do you know why? It's because the older I get, I when I was younger, I felt invincible. And the older I get, I know that I'm not. <laughs> also true. <laughs> Speaking of espresso, it is. Um, I moved my coffee because I was going to make my headband. I should grab the material and quit yakking because I'm a yak. Right. I know I'm not to mindless sewing of putting patches on for my amazingly quilted, colorful house coat. Hey, butterfly! Yay, butterfly! I'll have to catch up on the sewing news in the re. <laughs> Well, I made um, I made this couch cushion of a coat. Phoenix, well, you saw everything that Phoenix made yesterday. Phoenix has been sewing her face off. <laughs> it's this machine. I need to figure out. Well, I know I'm going to do roll temps and fiddly bits on Brunhild, but I feel like she's like sitting in the corner, like staring at me, like you you're neglecting me for that new machine. <laughs> How can you do this? <laughs> I say that all the time. Like, my husband partner is looking at me like, how can you cheat on me right in front of me? <laughs> Cover me up. <laughs> oh, so true. Just do, just do what I do and keep a coffee pot at your desk. Um, it, I'm weird. I weirdly try to keep liquids out of here because I'm so accident prone. So everything has to have a lid. Or, like, this general area right here doesn't, seems to not spill. So I try to keep things right here. 
but I'm a mess. Like I'll admit that like I am super accident prone. I'm five nine with size thirteen and a half shoe. I'm a real life hobbit. <laughs> Oh, that's super bad. <laughs> I have so many. Um, my, I actually, I actually pulled out that Supermatic on Phoenix's stream, and um, that machine is a bane in this house. Both of my Elnas do not work properly, and like Alibaba says, I should oil it, but the problem is, I think it was over oiled because it's so filled with gunk. I want to hit it with a heat gun. Well, do that. Just give them a good clean it. Clean it. Start from strip, from fresh, and give it a college try. But I only have industrial heat guns in here. I need to go to work and get the one that's meant to like not melt stuff. Doesn't your kid have a hair dryer? I have to look to see if he's burnt it out. Like when he was younger, he would play with stuff, and I would let him. He would have a hair dryer, and he literally just turn it on and play with it. And I'm like, I don't care. Wait, because I cut, I'm on the verge of not having any hair. What is it going to yeah. do me? <laughs> don't care. If you break it, I don't care. I have to see if it still works. I could preserve the sensibilities of my grandparents and that we're irate baby boomers more than... <laughs> I was raised by real-life boomers, so it's the, I get it. I'm still waiting for a video where you can actually use the F... The F in... <laughs> There's quite a few. I need to have the machine episode. Oh, that brings me to my dirty mini sewing machine shill video. I'm going to be making a mini sewing machine video. I've recently purchased a mini Merit, which is better. Quite honestly, um, it's a solid machine. Let me grab it. It's a solid sewing machine. Most mini sewing machines are just plastic, and they're a step up from toys. We've all heard the speech. I've literally made four or five videos about it. <laughs> We've heard this song and dance before. Oh, Let's see man. here. Hit it with a bath of kerosene. Kerosene. The word is the word on the street is you need some kerosene. Okay. Okay. No, I need advice because it's driving me crazy. Like I see people with their video, they're like, look at my grasshopper, look at this thing. And I'm like, I own up paperweight and my other elna strangely has the exact same problem hmm. so i think it's over oiled yeah and it's like super gunk on both sides this is a mini singer merit and the funny thing is out of all the merits i own this one actually works <laughs> kind of winner that time <laughs> But this thing is heavy. Like, this is a solid. I'm gaining muscle just doing this. This is a solid sewing machine right here. I was actually surprised. So, this is something I could actually travel with. And yeah, I'm a geek. I used to travel with my Viking. Right, because you never know where you, when you're going to have a wardrobe malfunction. I would always, like, weirdly buy fabric. And, like, that was more in my Vegas trip days. Now I stay, um, I go, I go only go so far that where I can drive back home. <laughs> I like to sleep in my own bed, thanks. I'm not a hotel guy anymore. Does that make me old or what? No. I think it's because of my compulsive gambling. Like, I would only go in the hotel room to sleep and then I would go back. I like, I'd go to the buffet in the morning and then like go to a show and then be a compulsive gambler. Yeah. <laughs> That one looks more solid than some of the other toys. I mean, minis. They are. See, I'm telling you, Waternay, the only reason I even mess with these things is because I get a ton of views. I'm actually interested because YouTube has been capping my views. So I'm interested what they're going to do when I actually get views. Hey, you can hop in. I don't know if the link is still there. If it's way up in the chat. Let me know if it's not. Hotels give me the heebie-jeebies. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Don't ever bring a black light to a hotel. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Not if you want to sleep. I used to have one of those weird car, um, like, flashlight black lights that the, the entire handle was a black light. 
worst thing I like when I was in a Stockton hotel one time. I still have the pictures. We literally like slept on top of the sheets. We were, we were like, should we sleep in the car? We're like, no, we paid money. We, for right. <laughs> we did this to ourselves. Let me do this. Boomer. There we go. Was the Merit Design series of Singer? I see. Yes, it was. Uh, um, it's a 1980s um, Singer Merit. And the funny thing is, now I have mini sewing machines from the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s. Well, the M100 is more like a modern one, which really trips me out because it's a step above a toy. And, and every time I make a video about it, I get thousands of views and I don't even like it. You know, at least the old fashioned metal ones like actually sewed. This thing, this thing, like it's a little slow on the fourth stitch. It's a sewing machine. It's a little slow, but like this thing's solid. You can, and you can beat it up too. It's heavy. It's got a good base. It has a, um, like a real um, bobbin holder in it. This thing's real. Right, because you know? we were talking yesterday about some of these ones don't even have a needle in there. Like, it's no. like if you can't, a sewing machine is supposed to sew. It's in the name, sewing machine. <laughs> I have a black light to check the shellac on the machines now. I'm afraid to take it to... You don't. seriously, um, you wouldn't even want to sit on the floor. You wouldn't want to touch the handle going into the hotel. What are you talking and and don't go in a corner. Don't go like near the bathroom. Like it's like a freaking CSI horror show. Okay, we'll ask. I will ask about overused. I don't know. They they're both driving me crazy, and I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But they both have the same problem. They're just gunked. And the funny thing is, um, I got that one in Ventura. That grasshopper. And my a Belvedere of mine sat there for more than the Belvedere sat in this one store for over 10 years. <laughs> and like I had like lived a life, I hadn't been to Venturin forever. I showed up, I was like, Oh, is this machine still here? I bought it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was still there, and the price had gone down. Oh, right. <laughs> Why did I be some security clearances as soon as Dick fixes his computer? I'm going to be a live streaming with Ukrainian press officer. Awesome. Awesome. To be quite honest, what cured me of my conspiracy theories is I ran into people I saw that they made people look like I was basically cured. <laughs> we live in the era where conspiracy theories are coming true. I was going to say, I need, my favorite t-shirt is, I need some new conspiracy theories because my old ones have all come true. You know what, Mark? I think I, I have um, aerosol degrees here. I, because of my job, I obsessively hoard bottles of degrees here. <laughs> bottles of it. How's it going? Ah, you know, goodbye. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just another Monday night. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. I, I stream with the it's so sad. <laughs> what that? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. I went over onto my uh, onto my channel <clears throat> to stream for a few minutes, and uh, yeah, nothing happened. So it was it was very uneventful. And then I was, uh, you know, just sitting here ruminating my thoughts. So it was great. <laughs> and then I saw that you were still live. So I came back. Like I always say, like I'm the guy that's always lurking on your channel. <laughs> There's sometimes I just don't want to jump in because um, I'm gonna, um, I'm trying to go to sleep even though I know I'm not going to. But you have a very calming voice. Does anyone ever tell you that? Thank you. Yes, I think I've heard that. Uh, and it's not like people get insulted when I say this, but you put me out, and that's not a bad thing. Like I don't sleep. And so sometimes, like, I'm like, you, I like actually pass out because you're super monotone and chill. I have a shrill yeah. high voice. <laughs> Which actually, I, I applied to be a uh, behavioral technician or something like that, like 
not quite a bit like a counselor, you know, so working into that maybe. Um, yeah. I was... I, I, I... Oh, go ahead. Gilroy uh, is the is our official microphone uh, tester around here. From the phone booth. Okay. What's up, butterfly? What's up, everybody? Um, no, I'm I'm in my room, but I do have new earbuds, so I'm still testing out the. With that. I've gone through every. But I'm I totally that that. With, with, with my uh, therapist earlier was like, why well, I. I'm, looking at becoming uh, a mental health counselor possibly um, because you know it's like I can relate to those experiences so and it might help me work through some of my stuff as well so I still yeah, uh, I qualified to be like a drug counselor and there's nothing wrong with that when you get your certifications you can get all kinds of really cool jobs and do all kinds of really cool things. Like you just don't have to sit in an office, you know. You can do outreach. You can do all kinds of stuff. And you live yeah, in the state exactly. of California, and... <laughs> so I know all kind of programs that would hook you up. And, yeah, there's a bunch of them out here, and so like, and they're growing the. Um, there's an outreach team uh, in in the the North Bay specifically, um, Sonoma and Marin County. Um, where they have this this outreach team that's going out now, and um, basically they just anytime you have a situation, they go out. They find it. Does, does this person need medical assistance? Okay, do they have food? Do they have blankets? And they hook them up with that stuff, and you know, make sure there's no. But but they're not you know shaking them down. It's not like like do the cops really need to be called? Probably not. Okay, we'll just. We'll just go and talk to them and and hook them up and 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 so it's like a, a whole different tactic. You, know? you still there? Did I cut oh. out? Oh, you're there. You're still there. What does is that counter tour? Counter tour either? Your voice isn't sure. Hi, God. Counter tenor. Oh Jesus! I need to. I should be wearing my glasses. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't we? You, yeah, you. They should be. It's right all there. vanity. Yelled at about this already. It's all vanity. Like wear your glasses, kids. I'm here because I was told in the fourth grade oh, wear your glasses, and I don't. <laughs> I lost my glasses uh, last week. So, oh, that's so uh, uh, I need to buy a new set of glasses. Yeah, it's it's been killing. Oh, and by the way, um, Butterfly, I love it. I just like saying crud cutter. <laughs> that is the greatest name for a product. It's like Goopy Gone. You know, it's really funny, Alibaba. I grew up with a my um I grew up with a military father, and like there was a bunch of stuff he told me when he was old, and I was like, I'm so glad you didn't tell me this 20 years ago when it was actually going on. <laughs> I have credit cutter, but if I good for parts, but only can dull the finish on your machine. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to put Kilroy in a timeout computer. Get out of here. <laughs> Wear your glasses, old man. How many it's, times do I have to We're into to the you? shaming part of the stream <laughs> where Godless gets shamed for this, that, and the other thing. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Every time um, I look at my coffee pot, I think of you guys. You guys shamed me into scrubbing some of the crud off of that thing. <laughs> I need a seasoned pot. You have to wash your coffee pot. Will is a drug counselor. Forget the other stuff here. Have a doobie. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out, Mark. Pot's I'm California legal. sober. <laughs> I am California sober. Really, I have not. I pride myself in this. I haven't had a drink in 11, almost 12 years. Like, not a drop. And I was like a boozer. I was a boozer. And I quit smoking nicotine this summer. Well, it's summer right now. It's been like six or seven years since I quit smoking cigarettes. And nicotine in general. But yeah, I would be like, dude, you're on drugs, bro? Here, just smoke a doobie. 
<laughs> do you think um, smoking J's helps people, um, Abe? Do you think it helps people coming off of other stuff? I, well, yeah, I think it helps most people. Um, you know, there's certain people who have a bad reaction to it, but I, I, I don't think, you know, I don't think that's the common experience. I think people get concerned because it's, it's almost too easy to do it. Like, like most of the time. Here. Yeah, yeah. It's like, unless you have a job, it's going to interfere with your job. And that's, you know, that's been my concern. Is like some of the careers I wanted to go into, where they were like, okay, well, if you want to do this, you have to quit smoking doobies. And I was like, well, okay. I'm curious. But I mean, uh, you I'm... don't have that in front of you. Sorry, go ahead. I was just wondering no, what kind of... um what kind of finish you guys are, are talking about. Because I need advice on all kinds of finish. And keep in mind, I have every kind of shellac you could possibly think of from, like, deck shellac to boating shellac to, like, all kinds of fun stuff in this garage. <laughs> you want a shellac -y? I got you a shellac <laughs> Just, I got to figure yeah, out, you know, kills brain cells. If, 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 like, if people don't... Um don't stigmatize pot the way they do, you know, like they, like people still compare it to like heroin or something like that, where it's, it, it's not all that. And they don't, they don't put it in the same category as, as nicotine or caffeine or something like that. So, and, and I think that's where we're, we're like in, a, in California, we're approaching like that, that level where, mm -hmm kind of the same thing. Do but they frown upon sorry. Do they frown upon um like smoking J's at like meetings nowadays? Like an NA is like because pot's legal? I wouldn't know. I haven't um been to anything like that in over ten years. Like or eleven years. Like but is that frowned upon in meetings nowadays? I haven't been to any NA meetings or anything like that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's a yes. Like they, they would not tolerate that around their meeting circles like I'm in uh, what's called smart recovery meetings which is kind of like a do your own program type of thing they have okay. four steps instead of 12 steps and it's like here's the tool but book and it's very, very practical myself. Go, go ahead no go ahead Phoenix no I just said the smart recovery because it's better than the dumb recovery it's a bad it was a bad <laughs> line that I just couldn't help myself <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, but exactly. Yeah. But but they do like there's a, a a good number of people in there who are like I'm here to get sober from marijuana, and I always remember like the bat the 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 Bob Saget bit from oh, uh, Half yeah. Bay, you know. <laughs> No, it's, you know what, though, but, like, I honestly kind of said that earlier. There's a very famous, um, you guys, I'm going to come back and write all this down, by the way. I know, I'm, like, all this I'm, like, sewing and not reading the chat. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm <laughs> and it's good to know that boating um, shellac works because I have a ton of it, and that stuff does not go out of style. Some of it separates, but I have some, like, hardcore stuff because... I'm a believer in the smellier it is, the more the, um... the if it doesn't if I don't want to pass out from the fumes, it's not good enough for me. <laughs> if it doesn't say this is illegal in the state of California, it's not good. Then enough. It's a hard pass. We're like, sorry, no, I want the California illegal only, please. Everything, but keep in mind, everything's illegal. Everything I know. <laughs> or known to cause cancer. I love that sticker where it says this is known to cause cancer. Like they've had that since I was a kid. I know I've wondered about that eight because um, I always wondered how these individual programs would be able to handle legalized um, anything. It's always been a question of mine. Yeah, like, and there's 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 a good school of of thought which you know tends to resonate with me a little bit where they're like, okay, well, to what degree do we normalize use of any kind, like? We're gonna let the tobacco guys advertise, the alcohol guys advertise, 
should we let marijuana distributors advertise? And it's like, okay, we're just normalizing all of this behavior. Or it's like, okay, well, maybe there should be a bit more discretion about how we're allowing, you know, as far as the, the, the industry part of it to operate. Like, we have to treat all these things kind of equally, right? But very true. I think with stigmatizing usage, you're always going to entice people to do it. Anytime you say, hey, don't do this, it feels good, but you know, don't do it. People are, are inevitably going to do it anyway. No, I agree. Like when I was a kid, um, booze, like everyone told me booze was bad and they stigmatized it, but everyone around me, everyone around me was booze it hardcore you know so i ended up doing it you were kind of you were kind of yeah, a little bit okay oh there you are i don't know if i can i i feel like there was a bit of that with uh um, like pot culture when i was growing up even though pot was the first thing i tried Oh, same, same I, I remember watching Cheech and Chong and uh, and uh, like, like I would roll oregano joints and smoke joints of oregano and, and pretend I was smoking pot like back <laughs> in the day Gilroy I completely agree with you and this is a big deal with people that have anger issues and smoke all it does is mask the fact that you are a raging bull. I've known, I knew someone that had CTE that moved up to Oakland, started smoking the best stuff on planet Earth, and all it did was exacerbate the problem. When you can, st oh. <clears throat> um, there is the hy uh, cannabis hyperemesis syndrome is real, so some folks just smoke too enough get to a point and they're like and they vomit all the time and that's not super cool do you know what's really funny i've never thought that was real because i grew up around a bunch of like potheads i always thought that was just like a fairy tale no it is but i wonder because it seems to be new on the scene if it is a byproduct of the suit the, of like the dabs of mm. the oils of these ultra high potency preparations that cannabis preps today are not your granddad your they're not your dad's homegrown i i always um say this when i go to the shop i go to the old man cabinet right because i'm still smoking flour like I, 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 I don't want this newfangled like if i need a pen or a, a new tool i don't if i if it has a usb port I don't <laughs> <laughs> my body can't take it anyway Go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say that's the only reason. Like usually, if I go to um, edibles or or drinkables or or jab pen or something, it's only because I need to go to work and I need to disguise the fact that I'm smoking flour because I really love the smell of flour, but it's potent, you know. Mm -hmm. I you know, I'm spoiled because also like I at my job I'm so far out in the country I can do it. And because of the paperwork, I can legally do it at my job. And, like, because it's legalized, how do you guys feel about, like, it's so destigmatized. I don't feel weird. Like, back in the day, if you smelled like it, it was, like, anxiety. And now it's like, oh, I came here with a driver. Judge me. Someone drove me here. <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> I think you drive me if it not had to been like, oh, do, oh, my God, do I need to air out my place of business? because that was not me. That was some grower who walked through my door or some trimmer during trim season. I'm like, oh my God, you're punching. <laughs> oh, people like that like on the double edged sword. Go ahead. It's a, a like a double edged sword there though, because sometimes it's like with with the, the general public, people think I'm cooler. They're like, okay. This guy came out here. He smells like weed. He gives no fuck, you know. And then my manager comes along, and they're like, "Man, eh, better watch that one, buddy." You know, <laughs> <laughs> like okay, but I'm actually pleasing the customer, which is you know, which is my job. So, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 
my thing is my eyes. I still wear visine, and I'll, I'll never forget when Mark Short was like, "You still wear clear eyes?" Like I still put clear eyes in my eyes because I get as long as I don't look ripped. Like I don't care what people think if I see me on stream with my eyes are pink, but in person <laughs> it still gets me. Where someone's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Uh oh." Makes me ten percent higher for some reason, <laughs> and ten percent more, twenty percent more paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I'm sorry. Do, do I smell? You start going through the gamut. Do you know? I'm gonna say because I've been reading the chat. I have never successfully painted a machine. I need to take a class, and I have my own paint booth and sandblasting machine and place to do it. I'm a disgrace. I know. I know. <laughs> But there are, like, um, would you ever repaint a machine? I'm going to go with, because I've been watching a lot of what Prometheus sewing machines and my bucolic life, if, if it's ugly enough, and if, like, she's been doing some that literally folks took a machine in, well, that wasn't completely working, out of a cabinet they were going to upcycle to sell for some rich hoity-toity, the yeah. treadle machine, and the decals were crap and the paint was almost gone. Why not dress it up, give it polka dots, give it stripes, make it something like these were black and done the way they were because that was available. But she brings up this point, like, do you think that folks didn't want everything else was colorful and amazing and over the top? If they could have chosen an over the top machine, would they have? And I'm going to go with, I think, yes. <laughs> I do smoke the old man stuff, but it um I have a what's called a low drug tolerance. I'm the guy that like they hand a tab, they're like, hey, if he starts freaking out, then it's real. <laughs> I, so like my eyes, um I because I'm allergic to a lot of things and I eat extremely um I actually eat weirdly healthy. Certain things affect my body and my eyes get pink. They get like pink pink. YouTube. Step by step, I that's that's really good advice, you guys. I do go back and write all of this down. <laughs> Cause well, I, you've got a phone right there, don't you? Should be like me. We just take pictures of the chat as we're streaming, so I can remember this stuff later. <laughs> or I could just are, give myself a big view. These are gold bars. These are gold bars, and there's a lot of advice that I that I've uh, taken. Oh, except for my ex-wife is texting me. I respect your lifestyle. She needs to get out of my business. My spans just sent her on a spiral. <laughs> you missed. You missed my my ex-wife. <laughs> she popped in for a, for a cameo. But she had to tell a terrible. Oh, she was on the channel. Yeah, she told a terrible joke because we, like, we have really awful dry humor and we send each other, we have, like, a contest of who can send each other the worst meme ever. <laughs> Old school black paint. But you have to be friends with people. There's no point in fighting people for your entire life, you know? Yeah, too much energy. Not thermodynamically favorable. No. Hey, yeah, Skid, how's it going? Fine. You missed the ex-wife. <laughs> her and Marty Ackerson went out of town, so I had to take care of her Pomeranian. And if you get that, you're over 40, and you're going to have to take aspirin in the morning. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I, I, like, there's so many projects I want to take on and painting a sewing machine, like, but I do these super over ambitious things and then I have a grasshopper that doesn't work. So sometimes I need to take a step back and not take on a million projects and finish the ones that I have. Speaking, I think I'm going to need to recushion, recover this seat cushion for my one on one. This leather, faux leather, whatever it is, it does not feel comfortable to sit on. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. Butterfly, thanks. Hey, Skids. Welcome. Lots of welcomes. The Black on Sewing Machines was baked on interesting. Lots of welcomes. Yay. I know there's a... Ellie, we defer to our master of knowledge on so many things. 
I know Alibaba, you are this, you are the, the lawyer. <laughs> you are my official lawyer. <laughs> no, I'm just going to dub them Sewing Machine Master of Knowledge. Uh, that's, a, that's a title. I'd wear that yeah. patch. I'd wear that patch with pride. <laughs> I think they need that. We need to make this and send it to the great state of Canada, Stan. Because like I have an old ratty white and it's not selling, so I'm thinking about painting it. Because I put it up on the chopping block and everything else is sold except for that. And I'm, if it doesn't sell, I keep it. And so I was thinking yeah, about it. It doesn't feel nice on my fanny right now in my shorts. That's TMI. I really sorry. Don't do not clip that internet. <laughs> I've gone through so many chairs. Even when I go back and I cringe at the old videos I that I made, I've gone through so many chairs. Cause you, you it is weird sitting here. And I had a fancy leather chair that like was just from the kitchen I would use. Nothing killed my tailbone. No, I'm sitting on the That's bench that this machine that. goes to. <laughs> oh yeah, those weren't made like <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. What's that it? Oh, I said that's why I'm in my bed right now. Yeah, I'd exactly. Chair. I'd rather be in bed. I was thinking about doing that one day and just having um, a stream from my hammock. My mom bought me this really complicated hammock years ago, and I feel guilty for not using it. It's a full. It's so big it will no longer fit in this room because it used to barely fit in this room. But I was thinking about doing a whole live stream from the side of my house. But my neighbors are really nosy. And they would be like yeah, slamming the trash can. Be... Go ahead, sorry. Oh, I just said that could be a software. They get weird Maybe when they hear me talking. Like they get weird when they hear me talking on the side of the house. And I have another neighbor who smokes cigarettes. And I'll be on the side on the phone and I could smell his cigarettes. He's like listening to my conversation. I know I'm interesting. Don't kill her. Me up too much. It on my fanny. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> um, Butterfly, I have quite a few um, people that I sell to. I've actually made a clientele here in Los Angeles because I really, I have been selling stuff online for like five or six years. And like before COVID, it was okay. COVID was like, you know, selling stuff left and right. But I've, I've developed a clientele of people I sell to. It feels really bad on my fanny. Uh, that's going to be a patch watch or a t-shirt. I get a pneumatic rolling stool from Harbor Freight. I took the cover off and made a nice leather. Ooh. Ooh, that is fancy. Oh, the incumbent for the historical info on Singer. The ones that... Tommy, you've now passed. I'm glad to pass on that info. We, I appreciate it so I'm much because me. like, so yeah. much stuff I look for... I can't find, and oh, I sewed that piece on backwards. Damn it! Too You're late. the historian, I should say. Yeah. I'm regarding conspiracy theories of what happens if you overthrow the existing world order to prevent the new world order. You're afraid. You are afraid of instead. Uh, you get China, Russia running the world. The Chinese just don't play. That's all. And if you mess up your 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 social credit score, you will starve in your house. <laughs> Seriously, you, you know travel, you know eat, you know you. you it's they, worse if, than the gulag because they don't even need to send you to the gulag. The gulag is your house, assuming yep. that you can still sleep there or you're on the street because they took that too. Some people have hot tub streams. Godless has hammock streams. I've always wondered how people have successful hot tub streams. I'm so ADD and goofy. I don't know if I'd ever could have a successful one. I've seen a few. I actually, the guy I always rant about that makes money off of YouTube. He rents an Airbnb in Vegas and live streams from a hot tub. And does it successfully. I don't know how he does it doesn't drop his phone in the hot tub like i'm goofy it's what a tripod is for <laughs> you know instead of preventing the satanic illuminati from taking over the world you just hand the world over to china russia and people who are far worse and i got trashed on apes channel for voting for straight democrats for the past i don't know 
but like I like my boogie, I like my um gangsters to be in my face and not hidden. <laughs> <laughs> and I admit, since Ralph Nader, I voted for Ralph Nader, and since then I voted straight Democrat every year. I'm man enough to admit it. I am part of the problem. I'm I'm team Afromant. I still my presidential candidate, team Afromant, but I do have to laugh. RFK Jr. doing all his push-ups and his incline bench press with those muscles at almost 70. The joke, like he's either on TRT or on slightly higher than TRT. Like, how can you be big pharma and like big pharma anti-vax, but still look like you're juicing? Like, he I don't think your out. genetics are that good. He drips me out because he's like, you know, I've fallen into podcast hell. And he's on all these podcasts now, and like he trips me out. I will no longer click on his videos. I got que I have questions. <laughs> That's it. That's very questionable, though, Commander, because like there's that theory of like, did you, you should stop him at Dresden or like, I don't know. Hitler, who was planning to cram the jackpot down the throat of the planet and usher in thousands of years of darkness. But people, but like that's perspective though, because if you lived in Afghanistan, you would think that's us. Right. <laughs> or if you lived anywhere in the Middle East in the past like 25, 30 years, you know, it's all perspective, I guess. I recently watched an um, interview with the Saudi crown, crown Prince, and like, I hate it when people say this, but it's true. And I say this in certain communities like, you come from the perspective of your people, of where you're from, and you don't realize there's a whole world of people that exist outside of your, your norms, you know? Yeah. Um, well, hey, I gotta head out. Um, it, it's been, uh, been much fun. Hey, you're always and, welcome uh, on my channel, brother. You're always welcome. Thank you, Will. And, uh, good to see you, Phoenix. Uh, see everybody, uh, soon. Have a great night. night. How do you guys just catch her? Basically, you gotta start work soon. We are the West Coasters. There is that uh, the West Coasters. We do. Um, we're still boogieing when everyone goes to bed. I, I know that's why I start my stream on Sundays early. When I I start it when I do because I'm like in case people on the East Coast want to hang out but don't want to stay up late on a school night. I don't want to like impede. <laughs> I used to stream with a lot of people in different countries, and this time, um, besides the UK, is weirdly when other people are awake. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like people in Africa, people in Australia. Yes. Because it's <laughs> tomorrow, they're already. It's tomorrow. <laughs> next to, no, I could be wrong, but next to, I think, Hawaii, we are the second to last time zone on Earth. Or it could be the Solomons. Or I don't know. We're, we are literally like the second to last time zone on Earth. Oh, did he show up? So I'll get you. Oh, the light's terrible. Hold on, I'm gonna make you big. I should go through my patch collection, but I sewed. That's I got beautiful. a set of Ukrainian Easter eggs for my machine, my embroidery machine, and I have a whole bunch, and I, they've been sitting here. So I was like, I am going to throw them into my house code, my quilted house code of just crazy. So I like that. that. That's absolutely beautiful. I like that. I love designs like that. That's awesome. I need to get back into my patch making and San Francisco making. I need to get back into that. That reminds oh, me. Your tooth fixed. I'm so sorry. The dentist. Oh. Oh. Best wishes. I um. They never, I would say some stuff, but that might be misconstrued as medical advice, but maybe a Benadryl or something better if you can get your hands on it. But it might help it make it go better. <laughs> I have horror stories about the dentist. Like, so what do I know? I'm like, I, I, I have friends. <laughs> what do I know? Right, the, ones that, the ones that count as far as social acceptance <laughs> are all there. I'll deal with their other ones later. When not? When I was a kid and I lived in Hollywood, there was a billboard, and I this it stuck with me because billboard propaganda works, and it was a syphilis billboard, and it said if syphilis did to your face what it did to your liver, you would do something about it. Ooh. And I feel like that about like certain health problems, 
like if if I was missing a front tooth, I'd go tomorrow and get an emergency dentist and be like, I need a new mouth. I don't care if I have to freaking put my house up. <laughs> I got, if I have to remortgage my house. <laughs> I'm an idol, so I like the timing of this shit. That's why I do it. But also, like, I um I'm a not sleeper and I love it when people go live at like eleven o'clock West Coast time. Like Ape. Ape goes live at like eleven or twelve o'clock. I can't sleep. <laughs> so it's good to hear people um having a live conversation um all the way until like one or two in the morning, you know. You you when I was a kid, it's the thing about even this, it, it just reminds you that people are out there. Like when I used to listen to talk radio, because I was addicted to talk radio as a kid, it just made me feel like I was connected to the world. Because it'd be like today in New York, blah, 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 blah. And I could picture what it was happening in New York, you know, mm-hmm. back when we visualized kids. We visualized. We read books and we. <laughs> It all goes back to when the power went out and my son freaked out and he's like, what do we do? And I'm like, you're joking, right? Yeah, if you're this tender footed, then we've got some problems, kid. You shouldn't have tried to fix that part with your teeth. Oh, that makes my teeth hurt. I, uh, yeah, I'm an anti-biter. I'll, mm. Untreated don't, do not clip that killer. I, I did not say those words. <laughs> <laughs> Untreated syphilis will do that to your face if left untreated. It's no joke. Absolutely. Absolutely. Those LA's billboards are no joke. Like it, like, and they put it right where all the people live. They're like, we know some of y'all are just swirling. <laughs> well, and if it doesn't affect your face, then you could be like Nietzsche, who slept with like two people in his entire life, one of which happened to be a prostitute and then die from neurosyphilis. Like Zero out of zero stars do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is. Like, and that's the big thing in LA because um, we have some of the best AIDS doctors on earth that are here. So it's all about preventative medicine here. But what's the fine line between harm reduction and just like making it too easy for people to not stop? I no longer know because the line is no longer there. And like, as somebody who needs medical intervention, I just get mad when people over interdate the system so much I can't get my medicine that I always get. Yeah. Or someone gets thrown in the front of the line because they have better insurance than me. You know what I'm saying? Fair. I never, I never bite my machines. I, um, I scream, why did you do this to me at my machines? I parade my machines. <laughs> You just or abuse them. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> it's so sad. On the other side of this, there is a bunch of like literal misfit sewing machines. That's like the shipping yard over there. On the other side of, it's so sad. The worst part is that I'm getting hungry, so I could say all sorts of stuff about putting bratwurst in my face, but that's just not going to go over well either. I'm just asking for it now. I put that in my mouth then i'm not gonna eat it cut that's cut you're you're gonna someone's gonna make you famous for that one (laughs) i wonder why all the cool fabric people won't hang out with us (laughs) because we make funny humor jokes (laughs) between the stickers on my silly machines and my name it scares people because we're snipped and clipped (laughs) Oh, so where's my notes? There was something else. Oh my gosh. So yesterday, and people who are on Phoenix channel heard this story. The other day I was one with young Mr. Sewing. Let me get the fabric. I was buying one. Okay. And I'm going to, I have a special room where I can slam the door on them. That is good. Oh, I know. Put it. Oh, <laughs> oh, what an a eat something before you put your foot in your mouth. I, I will. We're not going to show how bendy I am because it's also not a foot stream. So you can't find me on only feet. <laughs> I ate just so I don't get super hypoglycemic. I know I'm getting hypoglycemic when everything hurts my feelings. <laughs> I got chicken Alfredo. Oh, you're making me hungry. So there it was being 
plucky and innocent as minding always. Minding my own business. Minding my own business. And I told the young man, I need four yards of this and four yards of the coat that I made. <laughs> so I love bratwurst as well. So the young man's cutting and young Mr. Sewing and I are having a conversation. And I'm talking about my Sega Genesis. The guy cuts his fabric. He looks at me. And with a smile, that little tofu eating wokarati. Soy boy. <laughs> <laughs> that tofu eating wokarati looks at me and he said, Oh, a Sega Genesis? My dad had one of those. Isaiah literally did the ha ha, the Nelson ha ha at me because this kid shamed me and called me old for having a Sega. New rule, new rule. You have to be over 35 to have a beard because if you have a beard, I think you're, you're my age. <laughs> oh, he, he made me feel old. My dad had a Sega. Well, I'm old enough to be your dad. I just take care of myself. <laughs> Oh, I've told that story twice now. He really did hurt my feelings. I, seriously, I know just because I can doesn't mean I should. I'm going to stop there. And <laughs> it must be getting right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I saw a video on Twitter. It took me three viewings to figure out what it was because I really couldn't figure out what it was. A man was eating a woman's toes in traffic and someone caught it on, on Oh, Twitter. I saw that. That was gross. I Oh, gross. I'm, I, I'm one of those. Chair. Stop clipping. Stop me saying clippable things. <laughs> oh, I was like, I'm done with the internet. I literally put my phone down. and was like, I need to get a new hobby because that yeah. is just too much peak Twitter for the day. I've had Tombstone pizza. I love Tombstone. Oh, let's have a talk. Okay. Um, I love those cheap pizzas. I'm addicted to those things. I love Hot Pockets. I still eat the cheap burritos. I, I at the store. I'm addicted to those. I things. don't anymore, but I also I like a skinny New York crust or like cracker ne ne Neapolitan style. Like I don't love those like DiGiorno deep crust, double stuffed oh. fat facer things. Oh. No, I just so good. I'm like no, no. If there's too much bread oh. and not enough toppings, give me one third of the bread. I only yes, want one third of the bread and three, two thirds more toppings. <laughs> yes, kids, that video is on Twitter. If you go looking enough, you'll find it. People are so gross. I was in the fabric store. I had to put on my glasses on to read the register pad. I'm too young for that nonsense. I said to myself all the time. Oh. I'm to step outside if somebody said something like that, make a Genesis line to me. <laughs> He like he made me. I had to be the responsible adult because apparently I'm the age of his parents. I had to be the responsible adult. Like I was like, you gotta be kidding me. He called me old, and Isaiah knew right away. He was like, ha, because he knows I'm sensitive about that because I don't feel old. <laughs> My body's aching. I got all kinds of medical problems. I don't care. I don't feel old. <laughs> You know, if I can breathe and sew, there's we're never too old. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So, like, oh, kid. Oh, he hurt my feelings so bad. <laughs> he hurt me real bad. Ooh, organic and three cheese pizza from Trader Joe's thin crust made in Italy. I know. I'm, I'm one of those silly people. I'm like, oh, Trader Joe's is 12 miles away, and I don't feel like driving that far. <laughs> I've actually, um, I like those. I actually really like those pizzas. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. Pizza in Venice, Italy. Wow. I miss Venice. Except it stunk. The canal was stinky. <laughs> Did it have the Tacoma aroma? I didn't spend enough time in Tacoma, but the canal, when I was there a long time ago, it, but the glass was beautiful. Oh, my God. Venetian glass. Gig Harbor, I'm looking at you. They people were waiting to see the look on my face when the smell came. They were like, and I instantly was like, "What is that death?" And they're like, "They're like, that's the smell. It always smells around here." I'm oh like, no, that's like the Lithia Springs. Like it's a rite of passage. You come to town and you need to have some of the Lithia Springs water. 
<laughs> can, oh. you, can you drink the spring water or not? <laughs> oh, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. I wouldn't be caught dead in drink. Do you know what's really funny? Uh, it's much like Hobby Lobby. I love walking in there with my godless sewing vest because I get these looks of horror of like people are walking their carts into displays. Like <laughs> it's yuppie land. Yeah. It's, yep, it's just where the yuppies go. The canal stunk. Yes. I know it does. Trader Joe's is, I, I'm addicted to finger foods. Trader Joe's is bomb. And it's just bougie finger food. It's all from the same factory, anyways. I went to, I went to the glass blowers. They're all on different island. That's the one thing I did in Arizona that made me feel like I was accomplished. I took a glass blowing class. I have a piece of glass I blew, but it's not where you can see it, and it's dark. Because I apologize, my lighting sucks. I haven't figured out my. Well, nah. we're professionals here. I'm like Ron Swanson. I'm a food and stuff kind of. <laughs> I like food and stuff. <laughs> I used to be like that, but then I had to get like healthier. I had to like cut certain things out of my diet. I had to be like, all right, I can't eat this. I can't eat this. I had to. I can't have stuff like that in my house, water nay. <laughs> you like, oh my gosh. When I go shopping, you would be like, God, let's go and go get tested for diabetes. And we've, I was, we've talked about this for like six weeks now. You need to just get off your tohis and just do something. And you know what? It's so funny. Um, that same day where that kid braided me in Walmart, Isaiah stopped me from buying a giant thing of cheese balls. So I buy them every year. Right, because you can't eat your feelings away. About me. <laughs> he told me, he's like, he's like, Dad, that's literally saw, like cheese-flavored sawdust. And I was like, but it's good cheese-flavored sawdust. It's so tasty. <laughs> Oh, I'll I'll go down on that. I'll go no, down. The, the thing I miss is when planters used to have those giant tubs of peanut butter balls that were like the cheesy puffs, but they were peanut butter. Where did those go? Do you know what's really funny? Um, Nutter butter and like um, Oreos and all that stuff. They're like five bucks here each. Oh god, no, gross. Oh, I know Venetian lace is amazing. I'm like stopping myself from trying um, bobbin lace because, like, because I don't know how to do it. But they just move their fingers like this with the bobbin lace on their pillows. I I don't need another time consuming hobby. But oh my god, bobbin lace! <laughs> oh gosh, that is a time consuming hobby. Waternay, I have a cookie and cake problem. That's why I look. Um, that's why I, I'm at my almost summer body. <laughs> I have a serious cookie and cake problem. You make me miss Trader Joe's. I wish Texas would would spread the DJs around the state more. So there's not one near your house. I've always wondered about that. Do you have like um, any alternative? Do you have like um, what's that place that everyone goes around here? Like a Sprouts? I don't go to Sprouts because it's just nothing but Teslas in the parking lot. And I'm like, I can't afford to go here. <laughs> Is this the new version of um, Whole Foods? Safeway. Um, um, Vaughn's Safeway. They have a store called Pavilions. Okay. Which is literally a Safeway. Just everything else is more money. And we have a Pavilions in my town. It's literally a Vaughn's. Mm. But it's just everything is five bucks more. Oh, curry chicken salad. I, I, I don't know. I would prefer chicken salad than I made at my own house with. I cook the chicken with low fat mayonnaise and have like real curry from India in it. But my local Safeway was making coconut curry Thai style. They say Thai style curry. It was bomb. It passed it my American palate test, and I'm bougie when it comes to Thai food. A few days ago, a few next extra, then there's there are no more, and I've found <laughs> exactly. I know, I'm yeah, there's yeah, that's how I feel when I go to Whole Foods. I'm like, I never went to college, I don't even belong anywhere near this. <laughs> I did go to college, and I'm still like, no, you're not worth it. There's a certain like, you know, it's really funny. I thought about it, I no longer go to Starbucks, I haven't gone to Starbucks in four or five years. No, because why? 
I love some I just, plain black coffee, like submarine paint, <laughs> like real submarines that wouldn't have catastrophic you know, implosions. <laughs> do you know I did say that in front of a crowd of people that looked like me, and they were like, where did you get that? That's gold! So, Kilroy, there are a bunch of people in South Los Angeles that now say I am blacker than submarine paint. <laughs> <laughs> I said that in a crowd of people, and they were like, oh! I like that. <laughs> I know that is. Oh, that's so true. Waternay, they used to call Whole Foods Whole Paycheck. Yes. <laughs> I think it's bougie. I think it's bougie. Like, because I can get that same wheatgrass at my um at my like. I'm I'm not, I'm not even saying this. Like, I'm middle class, but I save money. Okay, I'm not here to say I'm anything special. I will go to Food for Less. They have the same sprouts. They have the same heads of lettuce. They have this. It's cheaper. Oh, oh. Japanese curry. I, I was just hearing about this. I was just watching um, Strictly Dumpling before we, I jumped, jumped on here. And I'm like, oh, this is not going to help me not being hungry <laughs> later. <laughs> Water day. My, um, my keyboard's in Spanish and English. I have to I have to switch back sometimes because I get lost in the Spanish because I go off on Spanish Twitter. I go off under a pseudonym. <laughs> That's real, Skits. No, that is real. Walks into Sprouts. I've made it in life. That's real. I went to a Togo's and had someone serve me because I felt like I made it in life. I feel like I was full circle because I used to work at one. <laughs> I love all things curry. <laughs> I'm the same way. Absolutely. I learned this um, when I lived in L.A. The diversity of food is just, um, it's unreal. I always say this, like, I never knew I liked Armenian food, Filipino food. I never knew until I, I got around um, certain cultures, you know. Well, and most cultures have some type of like a dumpling, like some type of a pasta that covers meat. Good, most countries or salads or some not meat. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I was watching on Twitter. Of course, I get trapped in these holes on Twitter. I was watching someone make a Brazilian pizza. Hmm. It looked. It looked gross at first, but then it looked like the best. But it's like a hundred gazillion calories. Yeah, I can't do that. I you know I don't have that much real estate. It would literally be like your entire intake that you would normally have in a week. I'm not kidding you. Like even yeah, for someone yeah, like I me, can't do that. they they put some weird kind of mozzarella in the crust. They put a whole onion. They put corn. They put well, like uh, the, the they, problem's the cheese. Probably at this point. And they put a heart attack amount of meat in it too. Yeah. And then they bake the cheese on top of everything. Oh yeah. No, I don't need that. No, I don't need that much. That's, I, was I don't like, know. I was like googling, like, can you get Brazilian pizza in LA? And the answer is yes. <laughs> so I'll let okay. you know if it's gross or not in the next week or two. Yeah. Well, let's go into other controversial topics. Do we wax our thread when we're hand sewing or do we not? Or do we not know what waxing our thread means? It depends on what um, project you're doing. Sometimes I go and dry. <laughs> okay. Cut that. Cut that, cutters. I go and dry. <laughs> and I announce it too. Going in dry. <laughs> no, I don't know what max waxing means at all. Please educate us. Okay, so when, I mean, I learned it from when I was doing beadwork, but a lot, oh, this is my, Here, this wax sure. brick is like eight, 30 years old. I've had this piece of beeswax that I still wax my thread with, but um, when I was doing beadwork, you would wax the thread to make it um, slide through easier, but I know folks do it for like their linen threads or hand stitching because it makes it, um, Less, if I get this wrong, I'm sure I'll be corrected momentarily. <laughs> so I'm checking the chat, like, who's fixed me yet? But um, <laughs> it just makes the thread slide nicer when you're hand stitching. I did not know that. 
I um get oversized needles because I have freakishly large hands, and so I get yeah. But really sometimes you need to find you. Oh, this, okay. So I'm I, I know enough to be dangerous that that your needle size needs to actually be based on what you're sewing through. Like if you're sewing through silk, you need a nice fine needle because yeah. it mars the the it the needle punctures will scar the fabric. Yeah, I learned so that was. You want Sorry. something lit. You want a little thing, not a big one. I learned that with sewing machines, like we're doing pleather and leather work. If you make a really fine stitch, you're literally cutting the leather. But if right. you if you space it out, you're sewing it together. You know, oh. there's a difference between um, sewing it together and just cutting it. Oh, <laughs> I know we're going. I got to go back to this. <laughs> this I'm dying. I'm gonna cut all of this. Hold on. When I screenshot it, <laughs> okay. this good. is next week's thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going dry with that mug. <laughs> you think I'm playing? I'm gonna meme myself. I'm going to meme myself. No, like I always say, if you haven't laughed at yourself, you shouldn't laugh at others. <laughs> Do you know what's really funny, Butterfly? I've been trying to learn French for the past 15 years, but I'm like. Um, my predecessor and I, we tried to learn German. That was a debacle because we just come together and drink. I tried to learn <laughs> French from my cousin who would literally teach. She lived in France. She was, she, I was a terrible student and she was a bad teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so well, too many languages. And so I speak Spanish and English and I think I can speak other languages because I can speak Stop Spanish. to help you out. <laughs> Right, you know one too many languages and your computer's like, I don't know, we, we can't compute. <laughs> I, I like your waxing. idea, though. I like your yeah. waxing idea. I like that. For every, yeah, sometimes it's good to wax your thread. I use um, upholstery thread on a lot of my patches, so my patches aren't going anywhere. I use the thickest thread I could possibly find. Super thick buttonhole twist. <laughs> we are here to please we are here to please do you think um you know back in the day being bilingual like people were that was being considered being classically trained do you think people are bilingual nowadays like more people are because uh, a lot of people speak I, Spanish I, I, here. Go with, I think i um if you were not born in the generally, at least in America, because it's the only country I can speak to, I think most Americans don't necessarily, if you were born here, not that many, I would say, know a second language necessarily, unless they're first generation and their parents don't speak English. But I think, I think that's a lost art. I think everybody knows, learns English, but here we are. Yeah, you know, it just it trips me out because when I was a kid, everybody kind of spoke either French or Spanish. Everybody had a second language, mm. and French was taught in schools to children. And like yeah, now, instead of at school, Spanish is not the Spanish that I hear, and people laugh at me because I get the words wrong. <laughs> it's legible. It just makes you sound like Peggy Hill. Like it's yeah, it's yeah. very elementary, <laughs> right? And much like English, it's timing. If I talked like William Shatner, it would drive you mentally insane. So when you do that in Spanish, people are like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Waxing threads very well for reinforcing threads. Good to know. I, you know what's so funny? I learned something. I've, I'm, everything here is hand threaded, and I've never done that before. I literally do go and dry, I guess. Oh, that's so funny. God, the sewing 2023. Right, and twice. He just can't stop saying he likes to go and dry. <laughs> well, it's better than F it. We're going live. I love saying that. I say it before every live. Because <laughs> I'm a geek. Plus, others look into what I have to say. Well, yeah, because you're smart and know stuff. So who doesn't pay attention to you? You should, you can share your knowledge in multiple languages. Wow, that's so weird to me. You know, I take things for granted because I live on an island. And most people around me speak two languages, you know. 
And like I'm always trying to learn other things. It's just it's weird to me. I'm translated into many things. Many languages, of course oh, you languages. are. Oh god, I'm not looking. Who else knows your knowledge of certain things? I feel like like especially when I go on Spanish Twitter and I'm like, I can read this. It feels like achievement unlocked, you know. <laughs> It's easier to be bilingual in other places than here. This is a massive country that speaks mostly English. I agree. I agree. And depending on, I, I mean, my family, when we came and assimilated, there was kind of the stigma of we don't want you to learn the old languages because we moved to this country for the what was sold as the greatness of America. You don't need those old languages. Like, you should just know English and be American. Same with my mom. Her um, her oldest sister spoke Spanish because she was the first, but my grandmother didn't speak teach Spanish to any of the other kids. Yeah, and and like the funny thing is, they taught their grandkid. They she taught me Spanish, but she, she didn't teach my mother. It always was strange to me. It was always no. strange. <laughs> yeah. But they were I I call it 1950s LA. Like they were assimilating. Mm-hmm. So they didn't want to appear to be ethnic, so to speak, you know? Right. That was a thing. I think that still is a thing. You know, I get, I'm scared to jump into a certain chat because I'm so washed out from the valley. Like, I don't, I think my, um, the way I speak would be such a distraction. They wouldn't hear any point that I was saying. Oh, interesting. The 29 singer all of a wax cup for reinforcing thread for wow. patching and fisk. I, that I said fixing, not fisting. Cut number 75. Of the... <laughs> I've always had to start with no soy Latina. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that you would say that, Waternay. People walk up to me and assume I speak Spanish. And I do, so it just f further confuses the heck out of people. My Spanish is not on that level. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> It trips people out. Um, the, it depends on what side of town I'm on, too, because certain people will not speak Spanish to me, and other people will not speak a word of, of English to me. I'm lucky I live in a bilingual country. I know some of five languages. See, Americans are a mess. We're a mess. Alibaba is over here speaking five languages, and uh, Americans can barely speak English. Mm. <laughs> I'm one of them, so I'm not judging too. Right, hard. let me ask you some quest some questions now, because I gotta ask a lot. <laughs> oh, that drives me crazy too. The thread I used the button, my jacket was waxed. Good. Interesting. I never knew that. See, I didn't know any I of this. That's so. I, I. Well, I guess that's why I brought it up because they always just curious of what every what everybody's comments were gonna be, <laughs> and, and I thought about. It. I was like, oh, waxing thread. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on to me. That's for the screenshot number two on that one. <laughs> Master Kilroy, Absolutely. you are here That is a comment in and of itself. <laughs> I have yet to go into Goodwill and have someone come to me and speak English. They're always with the Spanish. Um it depends. Yeah, yeah. You know what's so funny? Um, I recently went into Joanne's and I got some looks because the staff, they, the whole staff, stopped speaking English to me because we were all the same color. They took one look at me and they're like, "Uh, uh, we are not speaking a word of English to you." But it's more of an LA thing I've noticed because I've been to Spanish, like on the East Coast, people speak English even if they're Spanish speaking, and on the West Coast, people will will lead with Spanish. It's one of those weird things. But I'm looking at you, the entire East Coast. I'm not Cuban. I'm half black and half Mexican. Get over yourself. No, it's just a, you're either going to be thought of as Cuban or Puerto Rican. It's just what's most common over there. Like, <clears throat> there's one I, guy, like, felt he had to cancel me. He was like, hey, it's okay, man. It's okay to admit. I'm like, bruh. Like, I'm not what you think I am. It's, we're all the same color, but we come from different places. It's okay. Like, right. it's okay. Yeah, it's just the most common denominator <laughs> on the East Coast of Spanish speakers is not Mexican. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, dang typos. And I'm just stitching away on this house code of horrors. 
I wondered where my coffee went. The fan is blowing the smell all over this this room in here. Oh, Go back to Cuba. <laughs> Freddie, your brother Justin Trudeau misses you. Oh, where'd my hat go? I don't know. Oh. Wherever you left it last. Oh, here it is. Right, just where you left it. To further, to further, hold on, to further confuse the issue. If you tell me, girl. <laughs> the, I've told this story before. The people at my job called me El Presidente, and I said, you shall call me Fidel and Negro. Instead of Fidel Castro. And so they got me this hat. And I've gained so much weight. You know you've gained weight when your head's getting fatter. When your hat doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, you got problems, kiddo. <laughs> Let's have a talk. Today, I put on a shirt that used to be like a double. Uh, that was huge on me. And it fit perfectly. And I was like, oh, those potatoes I've been eating are catching up. <laughs> yes, they are. And if you're not careful, they don't get any easier to get rid of. Dump those potatoes back into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Got mistaken for a target employee. A woman was asking me stuff in Spanish. It's clear that I am not fluent. Did my best. A few mistakes later, I heard her speaking in that bothers it's me. Just too. trolling you. <laughs> There are people that think my Spanish is bad, and they'll be like, "You speak Spanish?" I'll say, "Yeah, we'll start speaking Spanish." Then they start speaking English, and I'm like, "Ooh, my Spanish hurt your feelings." You know, I can run around saying K O N S and ah, <laughs> how old are you? And that's about the limit of my Spanish skills. No, donde está el baño? And necesito alguna más cervezas, por favor. <laughs> I'll teach everybody my favorite word, and you'll you'll get it when I teach it to you. Exagerado. 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 It means exaggerator. Like that person's ah, they're an exagerado. I say that and get laughs all the time. It's like one of my favorite. That and Kiavod Body Dot, I got that from Ricky Ricardo. You know what? Honestly, um, that does make me crazy as well. That's why I don't wear um, khakis and red shirt. In the <laughs> when you go to Target, <laughs> you come playing. Or at Walmart, khakis and a blue shirt. Right. You Just think... don't wear khakis, kids. <laughs> I'm kind of out of my... Um, I'll, I, I don't know. I went through this weird phase of like wearing khakis all the time. They're just not durable, though. I need a oh, no, no, taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Oh, that's Simpsons. Taco, taco, taco. No, you are was, talking taco, about taco, the South taco. Park. You are talking about oh. <laughs> taco flavored kisses stuck in my head. Stuck in my head. Stuck in my head. Taco, taco. That was the greatest episode. It was so good. Oh. We are all. I know how old everybody is. You are. You just showed your age, Skip. I know how. We were all in our twenties when that came out. <laughs> Early. That was like. No, that was like. Taco that was a little bit older kids. than that. I. You but know, I'm bad at math. We'll be in correct. That <laughs> you know what's funny? That's not being bad at math. That's just being in denial. <laughs> <From> my... <laughs> That old. I refuse to go back that far. Hence that young, <laughs> that punk. He was so he, he was actually he's actually a really polite kid. But when you say something like that and smile, I'm like, oh, you just you ripped my heart out, kid. Right? They don't realize it. <laughs> Growing up, military fatigues were a thing. Oh, in the '90s. Come on, I. I and the thing is, I would wear them because they had my last name on them. So if anyone said anything, I'd be like, "Ah, oh, they have my last name." I have all my brother's old military. Um, I'm sorry, all of his uh, prison uniforms too. He was a guard. He wasn't an inmate. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because those don't those get recycled back to the jurisdiction? You don't. I, I don't think you can get second and jail clothes. No, no, you can't. That's weird. Will Smith like weirdly started this denim craze where people would wear county denim, but then they changed the style. So you don't wear denim in county jail anymore because it's too expensive. Right. 
back in the day that was like a, a, a readily available fabric, but now like you, man, you would not want to clout close that many people in denim. That's uh, a lot of money. You know what? I'm waiting for Skits' comment because I because this computer is so slow. Military prison. I know someone that worked in the prison system for over 40 years. He's huge and buff. He looks like he went to prison. <laughs> huge. Oh, yeah. Feels good. The I imagine like that's like the these like gigantically morbidly obese police officers. Like I know the BMI is a terrible metric and blah blah blah. But what is going to be our baseline of like this is health and fitness? <laughs> the problem like, is we don't have a we don't have a gauge anymore. That's the problem. No, do we need to go back to like can you run a mile in less than ten minutes? Can you do sixty <sighs> sit ups in a minute and fifty push ups? And people are gonna hate me like, for this. We need to bring back um, the omas. We need to bring back the shaming grandmas, <laughs> the oma and the opas that would like no, they grab you by your stomach. Like no, this is not okay. Like my grandma was a body shamer my, my my grandmother would have you questioning your own existence and then tell you you're too skinny like two minutes later like, like <laughs> so true as they're like feeding you like right, you're they're, like telling you you're too fat but then telling you you're too skinny the next day like they were so inconsistent so true but I think it's also, um, I don't know. I try not to be preachy because I eat, a, I, I lead a certain lifestyle. But like behind all of my bragging about chili fries and stuff, I eat extremely healthy because I have to. You know, there's a lot of stuff I'm allergic to, too. Heck, 90s, 70s, and 80s, too, outed stuff we've got here in Canada. I think that was so cool to try and help. Uh, it used to be denim was only worn by manual workers and rebels, so any convicts would stand out fair. Let's see here. Here in Pennsylvania, you don't have to regularly pass a PT test as a cop. You just have to pass it once at the end of police academy. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's enough. It's kind of like the way I feel about that maybe after a certain point or just like every time because I live in a state where the last time I had to renew my driver's license, you had to like, did you have to retake the written test? What? Or was that a lie? No, that was a lie. But I I think it's like term limits. At some point, maybe you need to retake your road test to know that you're actually safe to operate a vehicle. They I do know it unpopular here. Unpopular opinions. They do it here for seniors. They did it to my dad. When you hit a certain age, they just give you a test just to make sure you're not hitting light poles. Yeah, I, I think we should do that. But here in California, they got rid of that. So our cops have physical fitness tests. So we no longer have. My uncle was a rotund cop. He was yeah. round. He was and, Gordo. <laughs> oh, he was one of the last generation of the donut shop cops. They called him Piggy and they meant it. Oh, sorry, that was not appropriate. <laughs> oh no, he 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 um he laid into it though. Like they had pictures of all the cop cars on the wall. They the cops literally put a picture of Shamu. Oh no. And so he called his cop car Shamu. Oh god. Well, I yeah. guess if you can lean into you know, good on him. No, he was an a-hole, so he was like a total abuse, verbally abusive a-hole, so he deserved it. Like he was a stereotypical self-hating cop. And the funny thing is he was a total hero in Vietnam. And then he turned around and like was angry for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> My uncle did the real life force gump where he took people out of a helicopter and saved their life. Got a purple heart for it and everything. Whoa. But he was also an angry stereotypical cop. Yeah. <laughs> that was when my grandmother quit driving yeah she didn't want to take the test I, yeah they don't it, play I think you should have to take a quick three question pop quiz every time you're in <laughs> yeah it depends on where you live like in Arizona my license is good for 50 years I got mine when I went to college 
and um the law isn't even like that anymore and i got grandfathered in and so my license is good for 50 years and i just have to go get my picture taken every five to six years oh man well my original picture was from when i was 19 <laughs> you're like i need a new picture i used to I have hair. this is it's gonna recognize me anymore <laughs> i think in my head i still think i look like that i feel out. I have filled out. Like I do not look. That kid was skinny. He was 160 right. pounds. <laughs> right. That that weight of 140 is not gonna. That doesn't fly, pass muster anymore. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Honestly, like where I live, you there's no like. And I'm not even saying this to be mean, but they passed a law where like no one had a license here. So like, you just have to say I want to drive, and they'll give you a license. You don't have to be born here. You don't have to like. There's really no requirements in the state of California to get a li a license, but. We have really strict driving laws here, too. I know, but you can shoplift like it's nobody's business. Like, you guys are so weird down there. The, that, those, I can't watch those videos anymore because it's going to make me put a Batman suit on. <laughs> I cannot watch those videos anymore. And do you know what the funny thing is? If It's more illegal to be a vigilante where I live. Than right? to be I know a you, you do EMDM'd if you don't. It, it, Oh, I'm gonna go move to where Butterfly lives. She seems happy. <laughs> I know she'd say yes, but don't bring your California to Texas. <laughs> Have a great night, Butterfly. My dogs are barking. My eyes are. <laughs> Fair. You're frying in Texas. That'll be at the end of Fourth of July. The July is gonna hit, and we're gonna be in the ninety high nineties and hundreds at my house. <laughs> Today it was 85, and I was like, oh, brace yourself. It's coming. It is. It's coming. It's, been, it's super late, though. I mean, there's some years it's been 100 in May. Like, it feels weird. This is strange. No, this is honestly, like, it should be, like, I should be, um, usually in my live streams this time of year, I'm half-dressed. <laughs> like, I work kind of My lawn's like, usually brown by now. It, the grass is not usually green anymore. They want to say that they know people are safe to drive. I agree. I, I I'm not yeah. anti any law of that. Like, um, they had to do it to my my grandfather to the point where he got pulled over by the police because he um, was such a bad driver. Oof. That's one of the ways we found out he had Parkinson's. He refused. He just he was stubborn. In South Dakota, you can get a learner's permit at fourteen. <laughs> I I live in that state. Well, I don't live in South Dakota, but that is also an age that, like, we had to be 16 before we could get our learner's permit. So, like, kids here getting their permit at 14 is, like, is so cray-cray. What? You can get your permit at 14? Yes! Oh, my God. This chair's made of my butt <laughs> Alexa, what's the legal driving age in the state of California? According to Wikipedia... The minimum age to earn an unrestricted driver's license in California is 17 years old, while a learner's what? permit can be obtained as young as 15 years and six months old. It's like 15 years. But that's with a permit. Yeah, and but we have to be at least 16 back in, back in my day when dinosaurs roamed the world. We've had such problems with kids' DUIs. I know this because this is because of my generation. Well, because of our generation. <laughs> in, the state of Cal everybody. in the state of California, you have to, um, you basically have to have an escort with you um, until you're 18. So if you're under 17, you can only drive during the day. You're not allowed to drive at night. You're not allowed. Like, there's a bunch of stipulations against you. So our younger drivers, and I forget about this because none of these laws affected me. Uh, you know, you could, like, ugh, you had to be over 18 to buy cigarettes in my day, you know. It was a different time. It was. I know none of this, like, 21. I don't under, I don't get it. I thought it was crazy when I, when I, you know, I'm old, but, like, you have to be 21 years old to buy cigarettes here in the state of California. Oh, my God, Mark. It's going to, July's going to hit, and it'll be zero degrees here. I can, I can't, no, freezing weather in July. Is it normally that cold yeah. there at this time of the year? Australia has the exact opposite. Of I know us. they've got the opposite climates than us because they're going into winter and we're like getting into the hot <laughs> hella season. 
ever since I was a kid, I've always tripped out like how Australia celebrates Christmas because they'll like have Santa with a surfboard with people <laughs> on the beach. Yes. Not here. It's li- we have the, the English style Christmas where it's cold, you know, well, at least right. not on the West Coast. Oh, no, sometimes I get snow at Christmas. Oh, I want to see. Did, did I break the curse or did it? Let's see. Let me check. Dinner's at 14 here. Oh, my. That, <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, I guess I'm extra jaded because I didn't learn how to get my driver's license until I was 18 for reasons 14. they've changed everything though they have licenses where you can't drive with other kids exactly see water name knows in the state of california you can't drive with other kids you can't drive at night you can't like and if you go somewhere you have to have someone who's over 25 it's like renting a car <laughs> but to me now that i think about it 25 isn't even mature no it's not and I'm not harping on anyone. If you're 25, I'm not harping on you. I was a wreck until that. Right, we were all 25. We've made it this far. Damn it, you're old. <laughs> until about 40, I was a mess. <laughs> Here in BA, you can actually have a driver's license a certain amount of time at night when you permit. You get a license along with a certain amount in bad weather. Yeah, because snow there sucks. Even with the ice or the de-icing trucks. I really wonder about this because I drove stick shift forever because I like going fast. Do people still drive uh, stick shift? I've never learned. I don't know how. What? I I, I know my human knows. <clears throat> wow, my voice is going out. <clears throat> I I don't know how. Um, it's funny that Alibaba that you would say that. Um, I learned to drive stick shift on a tractor that has 16 gears. Oddly enough, the tractor that I put in all those videos. <laughs> I was scared. I my... was too scared to like drive around on the eight the four wheeler that was in my back 40. I was like this scared <laughs> one. I was like, no. And I let another human drive me around at like two miles an hour because I was scared. I'm kind of a pussy. I know I... tobacco at 21. What? I feel like we've had this conversation before, we but I always forget week. this. I'm a homer. I'm a total homer. I apologize if I'm repeating. It's just weird to me. This is just so weird to me how... Um, but a kid can pick up a rifle and go to a foreign country and fight for uh, you know, our exactly. rights. Exactly. You know? Yep. They can die for us to bitch around on the YouTubes, and they can't... I would be the worst commander ever. I would be like booze and cigarettes for everybody. Can you smoke here? Smoke. Start smoking. Well, no, <laughs> but that's the odd dichotomy is that in the military, with a military ID, you can still do those things, at least on base. Historically, I think. <sighs> I'm old, but I grew up in a military family. I like I said, I'm a total homer. Do not ask me those things. You know how I feel about those. Like if you're willing to throw your life on the line, I'll I'll give you I'll I won't gripe at you. Field use was 12 and up. That's awesome. I always wondered about that. I started driving at a very young age, but it was on private property. So by the time I came to my test, I knew how to drive. I just couldn't pass the stinking test. <laughs> I think tobacco is terrible. However, once you're a legal adult, you're you're a legal adult. Okay. Once you're eight, once you're that's the same. I think with a lot of things right now, that's crazy. Is like if you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. Kids, I don't know about. I've got questions. One and eight, you kind of struck a nerve with me. I agree. Every <laughs> no, 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 not a bad way, not in a bad way. Every African American male in my family who ever smoked a cigarette died of lung cancer. Every single one who ever picked up smoking, and I'm 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 on that fast train. <laughs> no, I was laughing at Killera. You can breathe Saddam's mustard gas, but not a Marlboro. <laughs> true. So true. That trips me out. That's always tripped me out. Like that's not okay. No. Let the kids ruin their lives. That's like when people are against gay marriage. Let gay people ruin their lives like straight people have been doing since the beginning of time. <laughs> exactly. You want divorce? You want financial strife? Welcome to the club, kids. Let me tell you. You know why my ex-wife comes in here smiling? Because she got half my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she comes in here cheesing. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. You speak in Canada that if you're a military kid, you can get booze old enough to die in your country, old enough to drink. I know, I'm but not... Nelly, you've got stories because wasn't that a couple weeks ago that you, you you've got some fascinating you're a fascinating human. <laughs> And I'm not pro tobacco. I want to stress that because, like I said, every male in my family who's ever picked up has died of lung cancer. I'm not sitting here like fighting for big tobacco. <laughs> no way. And they weirdly do sponsor the military. We've got a cucumber patch to go into our house coat of crazy because I've got some weird things. We've got chinchillas with poorly formed mushrooms. We've got a crappy cardinal. And we have a cucumber because That's awesome. <laughs> it's it's not pretty, but it's been sitting around in my stash for five years. It's going going into the house coat of crazy. <laughs> Tobacco is awful, but how can you, the government drag people to war and whatnot? But then regulate someone's. I think about that all yeah. the time. But it goes back to legislating morality, and you can't legislate morality. We tried to. <laughs> No, we're, we are trying to, and it's become its own r weird religion. So I wrote all these down, and I'm not going to let them. Um, my teacher had a chinchilla when I was in grade school, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that, like, how many chinchillas died for this sweater? Um, okay, so hold on, let me, let me get the godless showing shtick going, because I wrote all these down. Today is... Hold on, let me get my hat. Oh, I gotta put my hat on first. You gotta put your glasses on first. This is big there. head, <laughs> big head problems. Giant cabeza. Today is National Sarah Day. Today is Canoe Day. Flag. Oh, today's Flag Day in Romania. Um. Also, today is Forgiveness Day, and I would like to say, hold on, let me make myself big. Real today's Forgiveness Day, and I'd like to say, no, <laughs> you're not forgiven. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I forgot. I was gonna do that like four hours ago. I was gonna do that. I practiced that one and everything. <laughs> We're not on that no. step around here. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't got there yet. Philip Morris sent, I think it was, is that a, a mil, 1 million, 15 million cigarette cartons of cigarettes to Ukraine for the war effort. Oh, Jesus. Along with the accidental, like 6.2 billion that we were just like, oops, we had an accounting error. You got an extra debit in your favor from the bank of Monopoly. <laughs> There, which it makes sense though, Mark, because every time I see somebody in Ukraine, they're smoking a cigarette. Yeah, every yeah. looks like they're a D bless and they're tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> but surprisingly, the koala at the nature park was even softer. There, we have a koala. We have an LA koala too. But you gotta be careful; those freaking koalas got gonorrhea. <laughs> so that Mark and made me so cry. <laughs> No, when Mark said that though, I wanted to cry because I have this picture. Like otters, if you like otters, don't ever watch a documentary on them. They're evil. So people can just can just stand to see somebody living in a way different from them. Hence, people wanting to see their own morals and laws. I agree. If, you know, I saw this thing today. I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase it badly, but like, I'm not threatened by people who live better than me. Like, if you live better than me, hey, cool, you know, but some people are threatened by people who are more secure, who live, who appear to live better. We're, it's all lights, glitz, and camera tricks, you know? Right. The grass is always greener. Canoe Day Singer had a improved manufacture machine that sewed canoes together, birch bark ones. Oh, my God. Singer sewed birch bark canoes. My reminiscent of birch bark canoes is the first people, like literally sewing by hand birch bark canoes. <laughs> oh my god i need a different cushion for this chair today is also um oh that one's too dark Madagas <laughs> madagascar international independence day national barcode day national beauticians day and on behalf of everybody who sat at home and watched tv as a as a kid i'd like to say 
beauty school dropout. <laughs> no graduation day. National pudding day. Okay. So cutting, do you like chocolate? Is this like cutting or like what? National chocolate pudding day. Oh, pudding. I thought you said cutting. And I'm... Okay. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> I talk like Sylvester. My English is terrible. Um, let's see. National Report Trade Agreement Fraud Act Day. Okay, so government bullshit day. <laughs> that one took me like, like I never investigate. When I look up these days, I never investigate. I looked that one up and I still don't understand. Today is also World Refrigeration Day. Yay. And today is, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, she still loves me after all these years. Um, today is also National Zachary Day. And I want to say, after all of these years, I just want to say one thing. Zach Morris, I still think you're trash for what you did to Screech with Lisa Turtle. In 2008, Robert Mugabe was re-elected president of Zimbabwe. Oh, today in 2008. Oh, that's crazy. They still have STIs. I'm assuming Nature Park Koalas was saved from children. That's so... Oh, koalas have chlam chlamydia is what the koalas get. That just makes my skin crawl. Ko Ugh. Ugh. Barcodes ruining the covers of books everywhere. <laughs> Do you know what I get more than barcodes? I get mad at, at the um, people who put giant for sale stickers. I look at you, Barnes and Noble. You know those stickers were not biodegradable and they were just going to disintegrate into the cover of the book. I'm still mad at those because I um, I collect old books because I'm crazy. I recently bought um, a few books because I'm like, yeah, I need to read books about um, archaeology and the Bible. Yeah, I really needed that book and I bought it. I really need, I, I did need it, but. <laughs> you missed my Zach Morris's trash speech. <laughs> Because today's National Zachary Day. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I met him in real life. He's a cool dude. Mark Paul Gossler is actually, like, a real human. He's a, he's actually a stand-up guy. Oh, well, I got a lot of patches on this. Okay, let me lift up the presser foot so we can see what I actually did today. We got these ones, did. Oh, those are awesome. Oh, and then there's this other end. That's awesome. Slowly. So this is good. This is the going to be like the gathered circle skirt portion of my house schmata quilted coat of crazy. Today is also, also National PTSD Awareness Day and Helen Keller Day. Woo woo. Helen Keller honestly scared me as a child because I couldn't. I like just being trapped inside yourself. Like it scared me. I was well, way in my head as a kid. It seems back and forth like, <clears throat> as to whether she was a nice human or not. But on a random note, okay. So I know there's some folks who have got hooked on America's untold stories. And <laughs> as we're closing off, Eric Hunley got contacted today, yesterday by the prosecutor, special prosecutor in New Mexico for the rest case because he has a source who may or may not have thought there was planking going on on the rust set and now they're trying to like give him a search warrant because he's not going to give up his source for some stuff that he doesn't live in New Mexico and someone told him <laughs> it's creepy <laughs> That's super creepy. I know. And he's like the I don't know, his personality and persona just seems so like down to earth, salt of the earth, like I don't oh, it's so weird. But yeah, creepy stuff is going on on the rust. <laughs> it bothers me though. 
And you know, everyone's going to watch it now because it's had such controversy. Everyone's going to watch the show now. I, it makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. I won't watch it. And I'm addicted to cowboy anything. I literally watch reruns. I bought DVDs of the old Lonesome Dove. I'm crazy. Well, that's so funny, too, because Baldwin is like, we. I didn't understand what was happening. But in this, at this, I've learned henceforth that his father died from lead poisoning because he was the coach of their school's rifle team and they used to shoot indoors where there was lots of dust. So like he's been around guns his whole life. Like you you can't play that like I'm a Democrat liberal who doesn't know anything but my dad ran the team. Old school Californians, we grew up like every other American. We there was gun ranges. Like um, my father was a hillbilly. I know I grew up with gun safety. Like yep. anyone that's that's a pre nineteen ninety six American grew up in a hillbilly California. It, right. Yeah. Something was fishy. And then Helena Hutchinson's father. What was the? He was the. Oh, don't get it wrong. He was the individual who Tom Clancy modeled the Russian Soviet sub commander from the movie that's going to escape me with that other English actor who's super the old. Hunt for Red October? Yes. <laughs> it's like, can I just drop in a Fred Crumbs? I love that freaking movie. Help me out. But oh, her father was the one who they modeled the Russian commander off of. Like, something is rotten in Denmark. My inner Columbo feels like it was a rub out. Yet yeah, something was odd. Pre-1964 Kelly was best for gun safety. I, I'm i going to have to take your word for it. Was not an air breather at that point. So I have no personal Same. experience. You know what? Alibaba, I just have memories. My dad got me a squirrel, which is a single shot 22. And we would literally walk over the freeway that I live by right now with firearms, wave at the police, turn our backs to the freeway and go shooting. Because that whole area was nothing but swampland and desert, which is now million dollar homes. <laughs> no, I know. I think we need to normal. That like clip I saw on Twitter of these Chinese kids like taking apart and putting to back putting back to reassembling their firearms. I think we need to normalize that again because I think people are too scared of... People are too scared and we need to normalize certain things again, maybe. I, I'm i an overthinker. Do you think people have just... We just overthink everything? Because I reach a certain point where I, I can think anything and just point into just pointlessness. Because I just obsess and think, and then I'm like, oh, this is pointless. Move on. <laughs> I mean, I think there's that, too. But I think that we're so disconnected. Like, I think as a species, humans get afraid of things that they're afraid of. And gun hunting weapons, those things, they've been so separated from where we are in our many folks' day-to-day -day interactions that they're scared of what they don't know. Um, to water Nay's point, we also believe people who say they're professionals when they're not. We need to start checking certifications. As someone who has a contractor's license, who gets his um, CPR license every year, like we need to check, start checking people's certs because somebody down the line didn't do their job. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a whole bunch of stuff because the... There was supposed to be that video village um, camera service working. They got so pissed off that some of the people, they'd walked off the set because of poor working conditions. They were <clears throat> filming in New Mexico so that they didn't have to deal with some of the restrictions of California. Like, there was all sorts of things it probably was propaganda, but what American kid can do that? Anything in California that's not black powder, um, you have to have um, a police officer or a fire 
fire whatever fire gun or a fire marshal um present yeah we have hardcore laws so if it's not black powder and even if it is black powder you still you have, right. you have to get it checked off because like it's legal i can walk around with mine but i can't walk around with the black powder like there's there's laws <laughs> right <laughs> I'm not a pro sewing machine, dude. I just play one online. <laughs> yes, we're not pro sewing machines around here as I sit in front of a beauty of a machine. I cannot believe this machine still works. And to have what one of- How much work you've got done with it. I know, seriously, I've sewed so much shit. And to be one of 200,000 with the original stool i don't know even know how many with the stool was made this somebody spent a lot of dough on this machine and stool that i'm going to recover because my butt hurts <laughs> i say that every week i wonder who like every hand that touched every sewing machine i want to know all their stories cuz you know it's amazing you know every single story is something amazing oh, i know the woman who gave this to me she said her clothes as a little kid were made on this machine her wedding dress was sewn on this machine that's crazy. <clears throat> so there's a lot of like happy memories in this sewing machine. I still do not understand YouTube's um now that I think about it, because there was a channel that I recently subscribed to that everybody said I should. And that person had um a video that I got a copyright strike for. They had it on their channel as their premiere video. So the uh, yeah, the YouTube double standards does not I can uh, pontificate for days, but I'm not eloquent enough at almost eleven o'clock to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up soon. It's just that's why if you see if anyone follows my sewing and ranting channel, I'm gonna post the most random stuff on there because I'm trying to fight back against the um kill Ray stop it you're making me laugh. Hold on <laughs> my butt hurts <laughs> that's for when Everybody screenshot. You got to at least give them a good... You know, I grew up around amusement parks, and we'd always figure out where the camera was. Oh, right. So you could make a funny picture. Well, when you're, when you're like, trying to be edgy and you're a kid, you'd, you give it the bird, you know? But as right. the years go on, you give it the thumbs, you smile, you give it the... Or you don't react. Right. <laughs> Everyone's screaming, and you're just straight-faced. I know. I'm going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to put Lottie go to bed. We're going to put her felt underneath place down her needle and use my big sewing project as my dust cover for the night. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> I put my babies to bed. My one 1886 electric was a Christmas element. Wish I could, wish I had the story of that rose decaled VS2 for sure. And is my dream of this, what did you tell me yesterday? The... Um, the BL writ of this Phoenix machine. Do, am I on the hunt for unicorns? You're not <laughs> so, so there are certain parts that are going to be harder to find, but I, I don't think that part's a unicorn. It just might be hard to find. Well, I've seen new courting feet that look, if they will fit this machine, I don't mind using a new one, but... <laughs> But I have not found one for my white rotary with the horizontal low shank. Like, I've seen vertical low shank cording feet, but not horizontal low shank cording feet. I, yeah, I did say that correctly. Like, that, was a <laughs> lot of, that was a lot of description for a little piece. <laughs> I'm going to go to the sewing room really quickly, and then we'll, um, we'll end the stream. <laughs> All right. So I have to keep talking. I am a good sewing machine mother. I do try to make sure that... I have a felt, I put the needle down, I give them a dust cover, partly because if I, I mean, I could cover her up, but I just oiled her and then I get oil because it runs out. So I just keep her standing up. The bear rempel is somewhat a unicorn. I know. Why did this Russian person try to sell me on a machine that I can't have? <laughs> but I was like, Phoenix, I'm Phoenix. Wouldn't it be super kitschy to for Phoenix to sew on a Phoenix sewing machine? You have not found the white attachment types for the. I've not found a white cording foot. I'm on the hunt for that. I keep looking, and I've seen the 
vertical low shank, but not the white horizontal low shank. Perhaps someone makes an adapter for the top clamp machines to take modern feet. If not, I claim that business idea. Seriously, I think if there's a, an adapter for new machine parts, for old machines, but that might, I don't know how you, what you would do for that horizontal foot on my white rotary. She's, she's just something different and special. Oh, I'm going to have to give her some love. She's like looking at me right now. I see her under her hand embroidered tablecloth cover, dust cover. She's like, you've not sewn with me for a couple days. What are you going to do, human? I need you. I completely forgot. I'm going to, um, I'm going to redo my misfits Renaissance fair, uh, <laughs> Smock, I'm gonna add to it. Yes. <laughs> I've completely I've been cleaning out my closet and I'm going I'm gonna go back and um restitch all the crappy stitches I did in anxiety when I first started my channel when I was just doing things for content. <laughs> now that I really care, I'm gonna go back and fix some of these seams. I know those white rotary feet are hard, hard to find. Let's see, am I gonna need you to pay, take a picture here, John? Helig is the one to talk to for those feet now. Okay. I'm going to take my customary literal screenshot <laughs> and find this human because I, now that I've like fallen into this dark hole of antique sewing machines that I have like, actually I only have two, but um, I kind of want to curate all the presser feet so that when I have to Swedish death clean that I can give them the next owner, hopefully the small human I know who I'm going to learn how to sew, whether they like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that we're, we're, we're cackling like evil villains, but Isaiah uh, knows how to thread a machine. And so if you right now, if I, if I brought him in here, he would, he'd be able to thread my baby lock and throw down some thread with no right. problem. It, right, <laughs> I have like the mo the best stuff, which is why I this is my like why I, this machine came for free, and I bought her presser feet because all my machines need a ruffler feet, and according uh, they all need a but you should embroider the logo to look like a Renaissance drawing. That would be cute. Oh, killer! This is why I want an industrial. Too many stupid feet on consumer models. No, <laughs> there's nothing. No, those presser feet are amazing. Your narrow rolled hem foot and your tucker foots and your gathering feet—they are amazing. I love all the feet. Give me more feet. <laughs> if you lived any closer, I would be like, I don't even know what half this stuff does. It's just unload it Seriously, please just I, take this giant tobo feet and i'll tell you the truth i'll tell you the truth because i live in a singer museum if it doesn't fit on the singer i'm like be gone with you you're you have you have pox be gone <laughs> i don't know how to i don't use you you are you're worthless to me <laughs> yes, absolutely <laughs> Oh, the info is just missing on these attachments. Passing it on is a great thing. It is. I some I somehow out of nowhere, I'm like, I feel it's one of my next half of my life's missions is to make sure people have good quality videos of how to do this. Because I've been watching some videos and people, their stuff is not nice. And I want better curated videos of how to use these things. <laughs> About every six months, I completely lose it and I start selling stuff and purging from my life and downsizing. So uh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. You need, we need to see that other channel where the where you're selling your stuff so we can get first dibs. <laughs> well, last year, like I went crazy. I donated over 300 shirts. I look in my closet now and I'm like, that didn't even make a dent. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So I need to get, I like, I'm telling well, about every six or seven months, I, I have this like old Catholic guilt kicks in and I'm like, I need right. to downsize everything. Cause I know, I, I know that I'm not King Tut. I know I'm, I'm not the Pharaoh. I know I'm not taking any of this with me. Right. <laughs> I know there are so many amazing presser feet. I'm a presser foot junkie. <laughs> 
last clip of the night, you presser foot junkies. <laughs> oh. Right? I know. You're going to need to start promoting your selling page more so that we can buy shit from you. And if somebody can help me with my unicorns, I will gladly take suggestions because I'm looking for... Send me a picture. I My stoned self probably has it in this room. I, I, don't, I, I have a picture of a... I've not... I've seen a low shank vertical cording foot that would probably fit on my 101, <laughs> but I have not seen even a picture of a horizontal one for my white rotary. I don't... I, I Ali says it exists, but I, I've not seen it, so I don't know. We really don't need another how to thread or do a bobbin on a singer. Exactly. We need these, like... <laughs> no, I've got a white rotary. I've got an Eldridge I need to rewire, which scares the poop out of me, which will be another stream. Just go out and see it. You have a foot, but no! Honestly, I hate... F I spit Oh, my God. When it comes to sewing machine presser feet, I'm going to have to concur. When it comes to ones with toes that you can move, I'm like, yuck. <laughs> I'm on both all ends of the spectrum on the foot fetish here. <laughs> so because um, butterfly is in here, I can actually tell this story. I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end the evening with this. A long time ago, um, a friend of mine. We spent an entire week in Vegas. An entire entire week it was the most debaucherous swashbuckling piratey week of my life and my friend and i her and i we shared a hotel room but she would disappear for 10 hours at a time like she was crazy long story short i literally kicked someone out of the hotel room because they sucked on my toes yeah no no out don't do that to me out out out, out. i'm not oh, a damn spat <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan of toe suckers. Not. A, no. I, I'm literally getting the chills thinking about. It. Not. No. I have PTSD. And you know what? If you're willing to suck my eagle claws, get professional help. I have salmon snatchers on my feet. Like. Right. Oh, oh. this is so true. We need more of this. This is what this contraption is, and here's how you use it. This I this I can do. And honestly, even a good video of how to thread a white rotary was like hard to find. <laughs> But yes, I have a singer foot fetish. Carry it. <laughs> I have I'm a white foot. That. I have a grist <laughs> foot foot fetish. Whites or singers are more easy. I like these obscure machines that people don't like. But I guess my one on one is one of those. So I, what am I talking on the full <laughs> sides of my face now? <laughs> oh, that's funny. When I when I'm telling that the, I really did. I kicked that person out. That's a true story. That was the first time I ever was like, out. <laughs> Don't yeah. be weird. Don't be weird. I'm I'm actually extremely awkward in real life. Don't be sketchy and weird. I won't you'll see me run. I'll just start running like force gun. <laughs> I just started running. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I'm gonna steal that Alibaba. I'm gonna say from now on I have a foot fetish. But it's a right of presser foot fetish. Foot fetish. I, <laughs> I enjoy singer presser feet. We're, okay, you think I'm joking? We're gonna um, we're gonna make millions on our sewing a ASMR channels. I yes, think I'm playing. I, I think I could do like twelve hours of like the sounds of sewing machines. But apparently, because Kilroy's my manager, you can't do loops. That's so dumb. No, we are, no, but How we sew so much like stuff. <laughs> no, you literally just shut up and so you can accumulate 12 hours worth of sewing in like three days. True. I Four. do. So it like, it's not really that big of a deal. That is true. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> I well, you become familiar and an expert by using them and abusing them, which is why some of my other presser feet are or took um I still get that. gathering feet may have been a little abused. I need to get some more. I would um I would be chomping. See, that's why whenever I make threading, I need to go back. I well, I'm gonna be making a threading video because of my mini sewing machine fetish. <laughs> 
coach has struck on killer resistance comment. <laughs> Patent pending, patent pending. Trademark to we trademark to you. I'm gonna we're gonna invent something gross. I'm gonna take it all the way. I'm gonna take it all the way. Go bigger girl. Literal, home. but not gross. Like it's the most <laughs> literal, not gross foot fetish ASMR there is. Oh man. Oh man. People are gross. I know someone. Oh man. If I, I'm I'm starting to tell the true stories. It's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about too many feet real feet no the foot fetish people are worse than trekkies they have money <laughs> they're worse than trekkies oh uh, with a gopro alibaba you don't have to worry about auto focus oh sewing machine garage or cowboy sewing i think both why do you well, it's like my fabric for my pluter hose and why choose one when you can have both that's going to be the um, American name of my punk band. Thank you very much. Sewing Machine Cowboy. No, Garage Dwelling Sewing Machine Cowboys. <laughs> they're very, they're very involved. They get all the questions out of the way. <laughs> Seven rough. You know, you love my. <laughs> it was. I've never heard this term before. You know, it's funny. I, I'm taking it from a 1990s movie because it's the best description of someone's just eagle claw. I have eagle claw feet. I have patriotic feet. <laughs> I okay. have seven. Let's see here. One, two, three. I have three for a low shank because my Eldridge fits that, but that machine doesn't work. So I have four rufflers. So I do have a ruffler foot fetish. <laughs> Oh, I'm not up to God. seven, but I do have four. So do you have anything you'd like to show? Because I'm going to seek therapy after this for my foot <laughs> fetish. <laughs> I'm Phoenix Electra. I'm Phoenix Electra on all of the Rumbles, YouTubes, Instagrams, Twatters, Locals, which I'm terrible about posting to. And I have a live show every Sunday at... 3.30 Pacific Coast time where we basically do the same thing. <laughs> but I'm the host and not godless. <laughs> We're good foils because sometimes I have to deal with real life day-to-day -day emergencies and I need a good co-host so there's no dead air. Cause... <laughs> I'm filled with I am nothing but hot air. I'm here to be the hot air <laughs> To balloon. fill in the dead space if I need to run unexpectedly of like I need you to cover for me. The hot potatoes are kicking off. Oh, this has been the godless foots fetish experience. Oh, God, killer, you crack me up, Do you human. know what's funny? I hate it when people say it's been a journey, but this one's been a journey. It's my, We had a face reveal with uh, my my my, my ex-co-pilot. I know, right? <laughs> I, I know. have the rare style Ooh. singer, 12 singer attachments feet that have not been uncovered. <gasps> oh, you, you taunt me, human, with these beauties. But I'm not a singer, Stan. I, it's so funny. I, this one fell into my lap. But I prefer my white, I, all my white rotary is just different. Someone was selling a Wheeler and Wilson in table off in Vancouver Island. She was willing to sell me the wooden box accessories and manual. Wow. Sorry to the person who buys a plane machine. <laughs> That's a long ride for you. Like 15 hours for a sewing machine, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for flying Godless Airlines. <laughs> We've arrived in Cincinnati <laughs> as your pilot. I'd like to thank you for flying Godless Sewing Airlines. <laughs> if you not completed a project, it is A-OK. -okay. We'll be here next week so that you can continue your works in progress. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Like, I made this, like, after the stream yesterday. Oh I my just God. shut up and concentrated, really, is what I is what just I just sewed so really hard for a couple hours. <laughs> So, like I always say, if you've made it this far, I thank you to everybody who's been watching my channel. I absolutely thank you. And um, to everybody who, who watches it after, to everybody who re-watches, I want to tell you. We love you. And it's okay if you don't speak English. I can't speak English either. I've been waiting four hours to tell you that. It's okay. Because <laughs> I can barely speak English myself. It is a trash can language. 
You guys are all awesome. I wasn't driving to Vegas. I've been there. It, when I lived in Oregon, it was a trek just to get there. Like, <laughs> and I lived in Portland. I'm right? literally on the border. I know. Oh, that's <laughs> oh. so funny, Kilroy, that you saw, or Alibaba, that you saw that same advert, that same, for that same, let's see here, Wheeler and Wilson. Have a great weekend. <laughs> right. We take your tips on Rumble Pre please, because they don't they don't take a cut right now. <laughs> and if I do broadcast on Rumble or something, I'll let everybody know. But until next week, I hope everyone has a great week. If anything crazy happens, if there's another sub that goes down, I'll go live. Okay. If another if if they start indicting other presidents, we'll go live. But until next week. <laughs> right, until oh. Sunday. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to end it Mr. Rogers thing, uh, style Thank you for being my neighbor Reinforce your seams, be yourself And I will definitely, definitely See you next time <laughs>